Good morning, good morning, good morning. My name is Zinja Dunn. I want to say welcome to the call. Welcome to this amazing Super Saturday. Um, what we're going to do right now is get everybody on, man. Go ahead and reach out to your business partners. Let them know that the call is starting right now. All right, go ahead and check in. Let me know where you're calling in from. Give me your name. Let's get this call started. Joseph Mann, Waterbury, Connecticut. There we go, Joseph, way to go first. Let's go, guys. We're checking in. It's a Super Saturday. Jeff yeah, from Miami. Lynette, Charlotte, North Carolina. Edgar from Germany. I love it, I love it, I love it. Leaders checking in from all over the world. Germany, thank you so much. Lynette, I see you stepping up. This is the time, guys, right now. We're going to get started. We're going to be real respectful of our amazing leaders' time. But right now, we're checking in. Let us know where you're checking in from. This call right here is just for leaders. This call right here is for people who are taking advantage of the daily money we make in the market, but also want to be uh, want to have an effect in other people's lives, want to share this amazing opportunity and information. So go ahead and let us know where you're calling in from. Let's go. Nancy from Montreal, Ramirez, Canada. Baltimore. Angela Ramirez, Baltimore, Maryland. Sorry. All right, Montreal, Baltimore, I hear you. Let's go. Uh, Ramirez, Florida. Florida. Baltimore, Maryland. Yeah. Rhea calling from Quebec, Canada. Let's go, Canada, showing up, showing out. I hear you. Let's go. We're checking in, guys. Where are you calling from? This is Cynthia also the Powell time. from Temple Hills, Maryland. Temple Hills, Maryland. I heard you. Welcome to the call, sis. This is also the time, guys, where you go into your groups. You go ahead and you know that leader, that person who's supposed to be on this call. This is the time right here when we go ahead and remind them of the commitment they made to themselves. All right, let's go. We're checking in. Where are you calling from? What's up, everyone? This is Isis Love tuning in from Mexico. Let's go. Let's go, Mexico. Representing. All right, guys, we got two minutes. All right, we're going to go Tracy, ahead and jump into the two minutes. Hey, Tracy, go ahead, Trace. Hey, it's Gracie from Florida. Gracie from Florida, welcome to the call, sis. Thank you so much for checking in. You guys, this is that point. As we're getting on the line, let us know where you're calling in from. Put your voice in the space. Uh, Timothy, Bridgeport, Connecticut. Blessings, everybody. Connecticut in the building, welcome. Hamad from Massachusetts. Hey, Hamad, I don't think you ever missed a call, man. Thanks for showing up for yourself. Welcome to the call. Jasmine in Atlanta. Jasmine, ATL representing. I see you. Let's go. AC and OKC. Let's go, OKC. All right, guys, we got 60 seconds, right? Because we're going to respect all of these amazing leaders' time. 60 seconds to go ahead and put it in your group. The Super Saturday call is starting right now. Bring your pen, bring your paper. Make sure you are taking copious notes, guys, because we've got some heavy hitters in the industry, specifically on the Vibes team, who are going to be dropping nuggets. Right now, 30 seconds, let's go. Check in. Let me know where you're calling from. Tika out of Atlanta, Georgia. All right, Tika, welcome to the call. Let's go. For my shy people, go ahead and let me know where you're checking in from. You can go ahead and text. Make sure your text box is working. We're getting, this is an interactive call, guys. We want to make sure you bring the energy before we bring these amazing leaders up. We got 30 seconds. Let's go. Mm -hmm. 
All right, guys, just like I said, my name is Zinja Dunn. Welcome to the call. As people get on the call, we want to make sure that we respect your time, taking this time on a Saturday morning to make sure you honor the commitment you made to yourself. If you were on the line right now, that means you were a builder, right? That means you are, you're an influencer, right? You're going to make sure that you not only get this for yourself, your family, and your legacy, but that you go ahead and put yourself in alignment with your mentors and the business people that you will be bringing aboard this call. So I'm going to get out of the way of greatness and go ahead and introduce this first boss on the line. When I tell you this gentleman walks the walk, he is a seven-figure earner over and over again. He is an amazing, amazing leader and mentor in this business. He is a father. Um, I had the pleasure of meeting him here in Las Vegas um, at at um, um, another mentor's house. Uh, when I tell you this gentleman walks the walk, when I tell you he is on different Zoom calls with all of the I'll people that are blessed to be in his uh best blessed to be in his business. Um, he has got so many jewels, so many nuggets because he's done it before. And he has also invested time in other people's lives the people that are around him and are attached to him in business to make sure that they are successful as well. So go ahead once again, make sure as you're on the call, uh, as you're out walking about that you are have some pens and papers that you are taking copious notes. I'm going to get out of the way of greatness and invite to the line our first presenter for this amazing Super Saturday, Mr. Mr. Jeff Simpson. Mr. Jeff Simpson, are you on the line? I am on the line. Can you hear me? I can hear you loud and clear, boss. The floor is yours. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all drop some fireballs from our presenter, our host, Mrs. Zenja Dunn. Drop some fireballs for her, ladies and gentlemen. We got to get this energy right because where the money flow, where any goes, where the energy goes, the money flows, baby. Give me some energy. Give me some energy this morning because I promise I'm not going to leave you all disappointed okay i'm not gonna overcook the grits but i'm gonna fry the eggs today baby all right yes 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 ladies and gentlemen so let's get this thing going so ladies and gentlemen like i said i want to be respectful of the time as well and let me go ahead and get this thing going so ladies and gentlemen so first things first you know uh you know uh, we're talking about uh you know building you know we're talking about building okay so i want everyone to write in the chat okay i want a matter of fact i want you to put it in caps okay i want you to write the word team T-E-A-M, team, okay? Building is a team sport, ladies and gentlemen. So go everybody in the chat, go ahead and write team, okay? You're gonna write team, all right? So with what I mean by that, I wanna elaborate on that, ladies and gentlemen. When you come, when it comes to building, okay? It is a team sport, okay? It's a team sport. So in the beginning, a lot of times the mistake people make is that you try to be a one foot soldier. They wanna do everything themselves. They wanna make the calls themselves. They wanna explain to their friends themselves. They wanna explain to their families themselves. And that's the biggest mistake that you know you, may, you can make you know, when you join this business. When you first get started, you wanna borrow your team, okay? You wanna borrow other people's stories. You wanna borrow other people's success, okay? You wanna borrow other people's journey. You wanna share them until you become the story. Because that's how it works in the beginning, ladies and gentlemen. You borrow someone else's belief, you borrow someone else's success, and you're going to borrow someone else's story until you become the story, ladies and gentlemen. So that's what you do. And you do that by collaborating with your team or your upline or your mentor. That's the purpose of a three-way call. That's the purpose of inviting someone on a presentation. That's the a, that's a purpose of edification. You're edifying someone else's story. Let's just say that you want to learn how to trade. Oh, my God. Zendra and Isis love these young ladies. They're phenomenal teachers when it comes to the, you know, the industry of training. And this is why I joined, because we're locked in an inner circle with people like these young ladies. So you see what I did? I borrowed their success when it comes to training. This is what they're good at. Oh, my God. Jeff Simpson, this gentleman's been in the industry a very long time. Multiple seven-figure earners in several different companies. You borrow someone else's belief and borrow someone else's story. Because in the beginning, honestly... OK, and this is this is a, a cold, hard fact, but it's true. Ladies and gentlemen, when you first join the opportunity, your people that you're close to, they don't want to hear it from you. OK, I'm going to repeat that when it comes to a new opportunity, OK, or a new business that you're in, they rather hear it from someone else. Why? It's because it's you. It's got nothing to do with you, ladies and gentlemen, it's that it's you. They already know you, so they don't trust you. OK, I mean, they, I mean excuse me, they know you. But they, they already trust you, but they don't respect you when it comes to business. So when it comes to sharing a business opportunity, 
let, let them share it with a stranger. Because you a stranger, they don't trust them, but they respect them when it comes to the business. It's, it's called the circle of trust, right? The circle of respect. They know you personally, so they're not going to respect you, okay? They, they, they trust you, but don't they don't respect you when it comes to business. So that's why you got to borrow someone else. Because a lot of times when you present an opportunity to someone that you know, they're going to look at the emotional side of it. Well, they're going to think about, well, okay, um, Kayana, you owe me some money. I don't know if I want to join this business if you're doing so well, okay? It's an emotional attachment there. So they're going to look at everything. They're going to judge the opportunity personally based on what they know you buy emotionally. Now, when you share, let someone else do, share the opportunity. Now, what happens is the decision-making becomes logical because now they're making logical sense. They're looking at the information. They're not judging you. They, now they see the person that you edified as a speaker, like, wait a minute, this sounds pretty interesting, okay? You're no longer in the mix. So they're not going to make the decision based on your personal relationship. They're going to make the information based on someone else they know. Like I said before, it all ties back to what I said before. Team sport. Use, leverage someone else's success. Chad Thompson, master trader, ladies and gentlemen. If I'm, if I'm going to get into an opportunity and I'm talking about trading, I'm mentioning Chad Thompson's name. I'm mentioning Kiana's name, okay? I'm mentioning Master of the Craft's name, okay? I'm mentioning Isis's name. They know what they're doing when it comes to that arena. I'm going to move myself out the way. And whatever they got going on, I'm going to plug them in to what they got going on so they can see it. And that way, say, wait a minute, Jeff, this is pretty cool. This is pretty dope. Now, if I explained it, they could be like, well, Jeff, how much money did you make in trading? Or how much, you know, how, how well did you do? And if I say, well, you know, I just have to try to come on the All right. I want to jam too, but we can do that later. Okay. All right. So, they're going to make the decision based on that. Now, if you tell them, hey, I just got in the business. Y'all haven't really started nothing yet. You know, I haven't really traded yet. Ah, forget about it. Okay. So that's why you want to borrow someone else's belief in, in, in beginning so they can make a factual decision based on the experts. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're not recruiting or if you're not bringing people into your opportunity, you have to check your edification. Okay. You have to check your edification. Are you edifying the person enough? Are you edifying the speaker enough to make the people want to get interested? If you edify enough, ladies and gentlemen, this is why you're going to succeed. Don King, everyone knows he's kind of crazy. You know, he's got the crazy hair, crazy glasses, crazy look. He speaks crazy. But he was the number one promoter when it comes to boxing. Someone type edification in, in the chat. Edification. He was the number one promoter. He, got, he put together some of the biggest fights because he knows how to edify. He edifies the champion and the contender. He knows how to edify this gentleman. If you want to get more people into your business, you got to get good at speaking good about someone else. It's a team sport. Move yourself out of the way. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll, I'll use another analogy. Then I go on to my next step. I'll use another analogy. Uh, put a one, one, one in the chat. Ladies, this is for you. If you know who Christian Louboutin is, I think everyone knows who that is. There should be a bunch of ones in the chat right now. One, one, one. Put a one, one, one in the chat if you know who Christian Louboutin is. Right? Christian Louboutin is what? He's a gentleman that came up with the idea of putting a red lacquer on the bottom of a shoe, which is called red bottoms. That's another word for red bottoms, right? But guess what? He's a man. He's a guy. This guy made millions of dollars coming up with an idea of making a woman's shoe. Why he moved himself out of the way and thought about someone else. So a lot of times when we get into opportunities, we're always thinking about ourselves. Well, I don't want to do this. I don't want to. That's fine. It's not about you. It's about who else can see the information. That you know, I live in Florida, right? We have a um, a, a, there used to be a, a, a chain called Sports Authority. We used to, they sell sporting goods. The owner of Sports Authority never played sports. Owners of dog food with dog food companies don't eat dog food. They thought about the masses that can use their services, ladies and gentlemen. So you got to move yourself out the way and think about the masses that can use your product or your service. That's how you build a business. Move yourself out the way. It's not about you. It's about who you can connect with based on what you have, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, I said talk to it, right? So now, ladies and gentlemen, let's move on to the next part, okay? So in the chat, I want you to write this. Amateurs sort. Professionals launch. Amateurs sort. Professionals launch. I'll say it one more time. Amateurs sort. Professionals launch. Ladies and gentlemen, 
think about it. When you have a, a brand new business, you know, sometimes you ride down the street, okay, ladies and gentlemen, and you see the balloons on the side of the road. What do you see that business doing? They're having a what? Grand opening. They're having what is called a grand opening, ladies and gentlemen. Everyone needs to have a grand opening with your business, right? Now, the good thing about our business, we can have a grand opening every time we get ready. Anytime we get ready. If you've been in the business a couple of months, it's okay. You can have a grand opening and launch your business, ladies and gentlemen. Have a grand opening. Balloons, loud colors. Why? Because they want the world to see what they got going on. And that's what you got to do, ladies and gentlemen. You want the world to see what you got going on. You want to, you can't build a business being a secret agent. This is not 007. I mean, 007 was a great movie, but it does not work in building a business. You can't be 007 when it comes to building your business. You have to let the world know what you got going on, right? So now let's talk about the three type of launches, right? Let's talk about that. Number one, I want you to write traditional. The number one type of launch is traditional, right? Put it in chat, traditional, right? So a traditional launch, ladies and gentlemen, it's a little old school, but it still works. But based on technology, ladies and gentlemen, you got to keep up with the trends, but I'm just going to mention it anyway. So with, with a traditional launch, you know, this could be a conference call. It's a private call. You people chiming in, you know, ding, ding, ding. Hey, let him, you know, you got a host that's going to say, hey, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for jumping on the call. Please let, mention your name and let us know where you're calling from. Oh, I'm coming from Michigan. I'm coming from New York. I'm coming in from Florida. You see the ding, ding, ding is coming in. People are getting excited. Okay. It's traditional, but it's still a launch. It's old school, but it still works. Okay. But traditional is private. I want you to remember this now. It's private. Okay. So now that's traditional. The second launch is what you call a webinar launch. Okay. Web, can someone type webinar, right? A webinar launch. So with a webinar launch, that's what we're doing a little bit more today. You got Zooms. Okay, you got a webinar jam. Okay, this right here is a webinar. Okay, it's a private Zoom. It's a private Zoom. But the word also is private. Now, both of these work. Now, the pros and cons is that it's great that you're still launching your business. You know, you, you, you got the part down packed of launching your business, right? But it has its pros and its cons. Now, the cons with both of these ways of launching your business is private. Put a one, one, one in the chat if you invited someone on a webinar launch before or a call launch and they didn't get on, they didn't get a chance to get on. You're like, oh man, you didn't get to get on, right? So think about it. So just put a one, one, one in the chat if you invited someone on a, on a private launch before, you invited them on a Zoom call, you invited them on, on a, matter of fact, I want to type a one, one, one in the chat. I buy plenty of people and I followed up and they said, Jeff, you know what? I missed it, man. Can I, do you have the replay? Okay, uh, can I, or can I catch the next one? Y'all hate when that happens, right? Because you took the time out to call these folks, all right? You hate you, if, if you hate that, just type, put an I in the chat. You hate when you, you type somebody, oh, Jeff, I'm going to get on, I'm going to get on, I'm going to get on, and they don't show up. They don't get on. Don't you hate when that happens, right? When you invite somebody, right? So launches, these two, these, both of these launches work, right? The Zoom calls and the traditional calls, but the only con with that is private, meaning that if they missed it, they missed it. If they missed it, they missed it. And most of the times, a lot of times, private Zooms or private calls, right? <laughs> that's right, no more than 95, exactly, right? That's that's good stuff. That's a nugget right there. Nuggets on top of nuggets, right? That's a chicken nugget right there, ladies and gentlemen. So what happens is you did all that work and they didn't get on. So now you're feeling down. Oh, man, I did all this work. I invited 20 people on, Jeff. Only five people got on, right? That's, that's going to happen when you do what is called a private launch. That's the only con. Now, can someone type in the chat today? Fast forward today, ladies and gentlemen, because in this industry and when it comes to business, you got to be chameleon. You got to learn how to change with the times. Can someone type today? Okay. You got to learn how to go with the flow, go with the times. Everyone knows now the times today is crypto. The time today is trading. The time today is technology. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. So I want you to write social in the chat, social, because now I'm going to give you my favorite type of launch, okay? This is the third type of launch. We got the traditional launch. We got the webinar launch. Now, the third type of launch is going to be my favorite, okay, ladies and gentlemen? I want you all to write virtual launch. 
okay? Virtual launch. Number three is a virtual launch. Well, Jeff, what do you mean by a virtual launch? Ladies and gentlemen, a virtual launch is that you're going to now incorporate social. Remember I said social? You're going to incorporate social media with your launch. Now, it should be no comments when I get ready to ask this question. Type a zero in the chat if you're not on if you if you're not on social media. Because if you're not on social media, you are a zero. Please, nobody don't chat. Don't even make a joke about it. You see what I'm saying, ladies and gentlemen? Everyone's on social media. Right? So this is why you want to launch your business with a virtual launch to social media. Well, Jeff, how do you do that? Okay. Just imagine you see this Zoom right here we're doing right now. You have the opportunity and the capability to stream this. Can someone type in the chat stream? You can stream this Zoom right now on Facebook or YouTube or another platform. Ladies and gentlemen, the word today is stream, podcast, okay? That's why they're so popular now, okay? Podcast, you can stream this right now on a social media platform, ladies and gentlemen, and I'm gonna give you a hack, okay? A lot of streaming services don't work on Instagram. So a lot of us, most of us are on Instagram. Okay, no problem. You can stream this on YouTube and Facebook, right? So guess what you do? You take your phone, you take one of these. Now, I'm also gonna give you a recommendation. When you're doing your Zoom launch or your webinar launch and you're streaming it, use a desktop or a laptop. So that way you can use this tool right here, which is called your moneymaker ATM machine, your trading smartphone, cell phone, no more nine to five phone, right? You could take this while you're streaming on the other platforms, which is such as YouTube or Facebook, you could take this and hit live on your Instagram, boom, hit live and record your virtual launch. Now you're on three different platforms on one launch. Ladies and gentlemen, guess what you just did? You just got a whole lot of exposure. Someone type exposure in the chat. You just exposed your launch to the whole world. Just like I talked about earlier about those balloons, grand opening. You just had a grand opening to thousands of people now across the globe. If you got 5,000 friends on Facebook or 3,000 friends, that's a possibility of 3,000 people that actually saw your launch. Now, guess what happens? If they miss the launch, unlike the private Zoom, Unlike the private webinar, unlike the private uh, uh, traditional Zoom or launch, they can go back and watch the replay. Now you see why virtual launches are so good. Oh man, Jeff, I missed the uh, I missed the uh, presentation, man. Can you send me the, the next one? No, I don't want to send you the next presentation. I want to send you the one I just did because the next one is going to be next time. I'm not looking for next time, people. I need people right now. So I'm going to send them the right now presentation that I just finished doing. So I'm going to send them that link and let them look at the one I just did right now. Because someone type in the chat right now. We don't want to make money now. We want to make money right now. So I'm not going to send you my next presentation. I'm going to send you the one I just finished doing. So this is why a virtual launch is more lucrative because now you got the benefits of doing a, a launch, period. That's a professional's launch. And now you have the opportunity of exposing it to everyone. Because now you got the ones that actually jumped on and then you got the potentials that missed the line, that missed it live. And guess what, ladies and gentlemen, rule of thumb. Whenever you post your virtual launch on social media, you start looking at those comments, go back and reply to, to a few of those comments so your virtual replay launch will come back in those news feeds. Wait, wait a minute. What is this that, uh, you, know, you know, Kiana did? What is this that uh, Tika did? What is this, uh, this, this Zoom that uh, Chad did? I want to know about this. People are nosy by nature. They're going to go on your page and they're going to watch a whole virtual launch that you did a few days ago. They're going to watch the whole presentation. You know why? Because they were not invited or actually they missed it. People always want to be a part of something that, that you know, they're not invited to. You ever notice that the banks want to loan you money when you don't need it? Or people want to get invisible with you when you don't ask them? Because it's called fear of loss. No one joins for the possibility of gain. They join because of the fear of loss. So the fact that they missed the presentation and they were not invited or they missed it and you mentioned nothing to them about it, then they see all those comments in the chat, they're going to go back and they're going to watch that replay. Hey, Jeff, what, what is this about, man? I want to I I know more about this. That's how it works, ladies and gentlemen. That's why the virtual launch is my favorite, ladies and gentlemen. So 
You know, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I want to overcook your grits, but I sure hope I fried your eggs. Um, I think that's about 20, 30 minutes of my time. I, I can go all day, but ladies and gentlemen, you got your traditional webinar and your virtual launch. They all work good, ladies and gentlemen. The question is, do you want your business to be public or do you want your business to be private? So uh, Zendra, uh, I think I'm going to turn it back over to you. Thanks for having me. Love you all. Let's get this vibe money, baby. Peace out. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's right, go. Guys. I need some fire in the chat for the nugget that Mr. Jeff Simpson just dropped on us, folks. That virtual launch is powerful. Not only for the people who missed it, but the FOMO folks, right? The fear of missing out folks. Love that. Takes teamwork, man. Edifying. Making sure that we are leveraging these amazing leaders that have come by to do this thing. All right, guys? So first and foremost, congratulate yourself. You showed up for yourself. You made a commitment for yourself to get on and get this training. Secondly, go ahead and reach out to somebody who needs to see what we're doing. Uh, because the next leader that I am bringing to the forefront, man, uh, this edification is going to take a minute, but it's just because she does so much each and every day to walk the walk, to not just build her business for herself, but internationally for her international team of leaders, man. Uh, she's got to be one of the most coachable people I have ever met in my life. Um, it's been an honor to be in business with her, to be in life with her, and she absolutely she absolutely, each and every time, uh, through her actions, ladies and gentlemen, shows me that this is absolutely the life that she's creating. Each and every time she's given an instruction, each and every time she sees she has to shift and move with the business. Um, she has absolutely become one of my mentors in this thing because, again, she walks the walk like nobody can. Uh, she was once in, I think she's bi-coastal or, or bi-country now in Atlanta, in Mexico. Uh, but this is when you are going to the one or two people that you reached out to, the five or ten people that you reached out to and said, you absolutely have to see what we're doing. She's going to go ahead and break down what we're doing, do a masterful presentation from a mentor who actually recruits like nobody I've ever seen. So I'm going to get out of the way of greatness and bring to the line your next presenter for this Super Saturday, Mrs. Isis Love. Are you there? Yes, 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 yes. What is going on? First and foremost, first and foremost, can we drop some fires in the amazing presenters that have came before me? Can we give it up to our hostess of the most, Miss Zendra Dunn? Can we give it up to Mr. Jeff I mean, that's the sauce right there. I mean, he dropped it on us, you guys. I am so super excited. It's Saturday, you guys. We're in a good vibes, feeling good, and I'm ready to give this information to you guys today. But before we get started, I want to take about one or two minutes. I want to give you guys some time to invite your guests to the call. I want to give you guys some time to live stream what I'm about to do. Right. So while we get, I'm going to take about one minute for you guys to go ahead and invite. I'm going to take about one minute for you guys to set up your phone so you could turn your phone around so they can see what's going on. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up a little tune for us. I'm going to bring up a little tune for us. Right. We're going to listen to a little bit of a little bit of Afro beats. Right. I'm out here in Mexico. You guys, I'm about to go to a rooftop pool after this. So this song always makes me think about the good vibes. So we're gonna literally get started here in one minute. Go ahead, reach in the chat. Let everybody know we're about to start the second part of this party, baby. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Let me get some energy in the chat bar. Let me get some energy. Just drop energy in the chat. Give me some love. Give me some, give it to me, y'all, because I'm about to drop the vibes on y'all tonight. So I'm gonna need some of that energy back. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. We got 30 seconds. We about to start this off. Want to be respectful for everybody's time. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Energy, baby. It's all about the energy, right? Let's get it. Let's get it. Hey. Come on. Come on. Let's go ahead and drop OTC in our chat. Let everybody know we are on. Drop OTC. I mean, you guys, it's 48 people in here. Let's pack this call out. Let's go, let's go. All right, all right, all right, all right, you guys. We're going to start this off in 15 seconds. Let's go, let's go. Only you feel my body. 
All right, all right, all right, all right. About 10 more seconds. Let's go, baby. All right, all right, all right. Hey, yeah, it's my one right here. I've been feeling myself on this one. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to pause the song. Welcome, everybody, to the soup, the first of many Super Saturdays. Welcome, guests. Welcome, family. Welcome, friends. Welcome to everybody on this call today, you guys. My name is Isis Love, and Zendra did a wonderful, uh, wonderful, phenomenal job with introducing me uh, to everyone. So uh, before we get started, you guys, you, you already kind of know a little bit about my background, but I wanted, I do want to tell you guys why I am so passionate about letting people know about this opportunity. Why am I so passionate about making sure that this is in a hundred thousand families home, this education? You guys, a couple of years ago, about five years to be exact, I was homeless. Okay, I was sleeping in my car for two and a half years. I mean, I'm a bad, <laughs> two and a half years, two and a half months, right? And then from there, from sleeping in my car, I traveled to Arcata, California, Humboldt County, cold part of Cali, right? So I know we got some Cali people in here. And this lady allowed me to sleep in her garden shed for seven and a half months, you guys. So literally, literally. for almost a year, I was homeless. Now, I ain't gonna lie to y'all, I went from having money to not having money. So that was a shakeup for me right there. That was a big shakeup for me, right? I'm not gonna get into the whole story of how everything went down, but let's just say I made an investment decision. I decided to become an entrepreneur. I left my nine to five job. I said, you know what? I'm no longer working a job anymore. I'm gonna become an entrepreneur. The business that I started with, my t-shirt business, didn't fly like I wanted it to fly, you guys. So. I asked myself, Isis, how did your money, how did you go from having money to not having money? And what I realized y'all, and I want y'all to put this in the chat bar, my money was celibate. <laughs> now put it in the chat bar, put celibate in the chat bar. Y'all, my money wasn't making babies. My money wasn't multiplying. My money wasn't growing. So somebody slid in my inbox, right? And they told me about a skill set that I can learn that will literally have my baby, my money making babies like it ain't no tomorrow, right? So they told me about this thing called Forex. I had no clue to what Forex was, right? When they said Forex, I thought that they want me to do something for my ex. I got mad a little bit because I'm like, look, I had just broke up with this person, you know, a couple months ago. Like, I ain't trying to do nothing for my ex. But nah, they was talking about Forex, right? The foreign exchange market, right? So, so some of my guests is on this call right now, you're probably like, well, what is Forex? It's the foreign exchange market. It's where you are able to exchange different peoples or different countries' currencies around the world. Now, ain't nobody got time to be flying all around the world to exchange money so that you can make profit. But because we live in a digital age, we can trade live on our cell phone from anywhere, right? Anywhere in the world. I'm literally sometimes laid out on the beach placing a trade, right? So I'm so passionate about helping people this, helping people with this because I went from being homeless to now traveling around the world, you guys. And I know that it can happen to you as well. So I'm gonna dive straight into it, you guys. I want you guys to know for all of my guests here today, I don't have any slides for y'all today. I'm not a slide person. I'm not here to convince anybody. I feel like when you log into that bank account, that should be enough convincing that something needs to change. When you know how many hours that you're clocking in and clocking out at work, that should be enough convincing, convincing that something needs to change, right? So I'm gonna go straight into it, right? What I wanna show y'all is I want to show you guys a phenomenal school. Let me tell y'all something about this school. It's a billion dollar company. You can publicly trade it on the stock market, right? So what does that mean? That means that their performance has to be documented. That means that it has to be a paper trail on this company for them to even operate, right? And that's what made my anxiety go away because I'm like, wow, this, you know, this, this company has swag, right? So I want to introduce you guys to this because I feel like YouTube University is cute. It's cute to be on uh, YouTube University. But here's the thing about YouTube University. YouTube University has a mix of people. You don't know who's professional or who's not professional. But one thing about our school and our community is we work with nothing but the best. 
We work with experts. So this is not Larry, Samantha, and Dick down the street. These are people that specialize in the skill set of cryptocurrency, the Forex market, the stock market, and so much more. Now, our school offers so much. I'm going to highlight about four things, uh, and I'll kind of brush over some other stuff so you can know what we have to offer. So let's just talk about the Forex. So Remember, I told you guys, when I first got started, I didn't know anything about Forex. But because amazing academies like this, this academy literally will walk you through. I'm talking about literally like hold your hand. Even if you don't know anything about this, I want you guys to know you don't even need to know math. The most math that you're going to need to know is adding the subtraction and maybe some multiplication and division. And if you don't know how to do that, I ain't going to hold y'all. <laughs> I'm not the best in math. This is what I'd be using, right? So in this, you don't need to be good at math. All you need to do is take really good notes. If you can take really good notes, show up and show up for the calls, it's going to be easier for you to retain the information. So look at this. What is traded in the Forex market? I had no clue. Remember, I didn't know what the Forex was. Look, I'm going to be real with y'all. Y'all, I came from the hood. <laughs> okay, I came from the dirty, dirty, you know what I'm saying? I came from the heights, bro. That's a hood, right? And ain't nobody know nothing about this. So I'm trying to tell y'all, if I can get this information, y'all can get this information, right? Four minutes and 43 seconds, that's all it take. And I know we got time to do it, you guys, because think about this. How many times do you, how, how long do you spend investing looking at TikTok videos? looking at the new reels, right? Really be real with yourself. If you guys spend time looking at reels and TikTok videos, drop me in the chat bar real quick. Drop me in the chat bar, right? And remember, th this is not to pick on you. Today, I want you guys to become aware. Today, I want you to become aware of the time thieves that are around you. So if you have time for TikTok and reels, of course you got time to learn about this skill set where you can get paid from anywhere, right? So I'm not going to go through the whole academy, but you guys can see that we got basic all the way up to advanced information to be able to help you understand the Forex market. Now, I know everybody loves crypto. Man, oh man. If you guys love crypto, drop crypto in the chat box. Drop crypto. Let me tell y'all, crypto is paying bills. I seen my first six figures with crypto. <laughs> I ain't never seen six figures in my life. I ain't even gonna hold you, right? But until I started to get into this type of stuff, and then guess what? When I started making money with this stuff, I was able to branch out to other stuff. Remember, it's about multiple, uh, multiple streams of income. iGenius provides an ecosystem of different technologies and tools to be able to help you multiply your money. Right? Then you can put your money in Toro. Then you can put your money in Airbnb. Then you can start hiring virtual assistants to do the work for you. Right? So check this out. Cryptocurrency. OMG. Changed my life, y'all. I'm talking about crypto changed my life. Bank account looking like zeros. You get what I'm saying? So zeros and commas, right? Not zero, 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 right? We got to change that word. It's powerful, right? So look. The history of cryptocurrency. If you don't know what has went down with cryptocurrency, you guys, you got the whole history of crypto right here. You learn about everything, right? Buys, when it sells. We even got the advanced information for you guys. Guess what? If English ain't your first language, man, we got all the languages to support you. We got Arabic, we got German, we got French. Right, that little wee wee, little, you know what I'm saying? We got we got all the languages for you, right? So now let's move over to stocks, right? So look, you can learn about cryptocurrency. Oh, I didn't even get to tell y'all. Let me go back on the crypto. With the crypto, y'all, now this is golden. Every Monday and Wednesday, we got something called crypto talks. You guys, they talk about uh NFTs. They talk about how to identify a good in an NFT project. They talk about the metaverse. They talk about which crypto coins should you buy? Which ones should you not buy? These are all things that you need to know if you want to become a smart investor, right? Now, I'm going to come back to crypto 
after I talk about the equities, because I do want to talk about trading automation, but I want to save that for last. That's like the best thing, right? For me personally. So let's dive into equities. So I've always wanted to learn about stocks, right? And you're probably wondering, Isis, how am I supposed to learn about all of this at once? Well, you don't have to learn it all at once to make money from it, right? Because I, they're telling me what stocks to buy. They've already done the research. They've already done the research for me. I'm going to show you guys some of our signal chats where you'll actually get the cryptocurrency NFT ideas sent straight to your cell phone. Remember, we want to put more money in your pocket. We want to give you guys more time. Our goal is to help you make, manage, and multiply your money, right? No job is going to teach you that. Let's be honest, right? So once again, this whole academy will teach you guys about stocks. Now, Money Pro, before I, um, before I uh, get on the Crypto Elite, I'll show you guys the Learn Live and the signals, and I'm going to get ready to pass the mic to somebody that's going to drop this crypto down to it, more on crypto for us. So check this out. I feel like this is so important to have. Money Pro? Oh my gosh. Now I ain't even gonna hold y'all. It's 54 people on this call. And out of 54 people, there's a small percentage of people on this call that actually budget their money, that actually has a money routine, that actually sits down and they are the overseer of their money. A lot of people are not the overseer of their money. You don't know where the money's going, it's coming in, it's coming out. You don't have a good grip on your money. And see, when I was homeless and I wasn't making that much money, this is what saved my life. I've created my own type of budget system, but this system is spot on close to what I created. And even I went back through this academy and I learned a lot. And these videos are very short. Emergency fund, so important. A lot of times what happens is when an emergency happens, you guys are pulling money from your main check. And when you pull money from your main check, it's unexpected. You didn't expect to do that. So now you're cutting into other bills. Has that happened to you? If that happened to you guys where you had an unexpected uh, issue happen and you had to come on about your, your uh, monthly money, just drop bill in the chat bar. Drop bill. If something unexpected happened and you had to dig into that, that main money that you got and it put you in a hole, put you damn near in a hole, in a bind, right? Look, let me tell y'all. Let me tell y'all the simple fix. The simple fix is this 60 day money miracle inside of the money pro. They're going to show you how to line your money up so good. Well, you don't even have to worry about those days. If you got, guess what? You got student loans. Guess what? They're going to show you how to pay off your debts. They're going to show you how to pay your student loans off. So I can be on this forever because I love this part right here. Like I said, the student loans, how to pay off your credit card insurance you guys everything i don't care how much money you make it everybody needs this money pro right here now let me take it back to crypto you guys and if you're getting some value so far i know i'm super lit i'm doing my best to talk slow but i'm just so over enthusiastic about this information Right, so if y'all getting some value, drop value, value in the chat bar. Show me some love. Let me get some of that energy. Let me feel you. Let me feel you. Right. So look, because what I'm about to talk about right now is going to take your life to the next level. How many of you guys don't? How many of you guys have money sitting in the bank? Put bank in the chat bar. If you got money sitting in the bank, and if you have money sitting in the bank, drop your APR. How much are you getting? Uh, how much interest are you getting for your money sitting in the bank? Somebody tell me, right? Because what we have is called the elite. Listen to the name. Listen to the name. The elite trading assistant by Endotech. This trading assistant will literally trade on your behalf. Once you set that bad boy up, it is hands free. And guess what? Now, past profits don't equal future results, but let me tell you, last year, they came in for their clients and pulled in 281% a year on the initial investment. So if you put $1,000 in your account, and if you just would have left it there, by a year, you would have over doubled your money. 
right? Now, the good thing I love about this, because you got to watch out for those bots. But what made my anxiety go away, y'all? Check this out. You got access to your money at all times. You could pull your money out when you want to pull your money out. You don't got to wait a year. You see the money, pull it out, right? So it's literally money on automation. You'll set the strategies up, y'all. We got step-by-step videos. The step-by-step videos or the community can help you set up your account where you're going to be able to hook the strategies up to your Gemini, your Binance, you guys, and it's going to work on your behalf. Somebody put next level in the chat bar. Can I get a next level? Imagine no longer your money has to sit in a bank account collecting dust. Now you can put it in something where it's going to work for you while you're eating, while you're uh, 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 taking a shower, while you're cooking, while you're making love to your spouse. Your money just going to be going. You know what I'm saying? That's the type of money I'm trying to make. I'm talking about you making love and the money just going. Yes. Sign me up for that money, baby. Some of you guys don't even have time to be intimate with your spouse because you are working so much. Your love life and your sex life sucks right now because you're giving all the money and the time to the job. This right here can have your relationship back even popping. Most relationships fail because of finances. It's going to even change your relationship with your spouse. I genius. These guys are freaking genius, right? So lastly, for all of my people that like to travel, right? All of my people that like to travel, I just got to show you all this real quick and I'm still good on time, right? Look at this. Let's just say we're going to Vegas, right? We're going to Vegas because I got to show y'all this, baby. Oh, this is about to rock y'all. Girl. Ooh, let me show y'all real quick. So we going for a week, right? We about to go, about to get our room. Now look, we got our own travel portal. No longer do you have to go to cheap old air or Priceline or Delta. You guys, if you go here, you're going to get discounts for your travel. Insane. Remember, their whole objective is to help you make, manage, and multiply your money. Now look at this. If we was to stay at the Hilton's, and I was to go to somebody's normal website, I would have to pay 4000 almost 5000 But because I'm a member of iGenius, it's about the, it's about the stats, y'all. It's about the stats. I'm a member of iGenius. If you guys could just mute the lines for me, admins, right? So $2,000, you saving $2,000. Because you have your own travel portal. And this works for cruises. This works for rental cars. This works for uh, flights. You can even get a bundle deal. Right? Man, this is insane. Somebody dropped travel in the chat bar. If that blew your mind of the savings that you guys see here. Right? Now, lastly, what I want to show you guys is our community chats. Because this right here. Ooh. Ooh. This is my favorite right here, y'all. Sheesh. Check this out. Now. This for my people who say, Isis, I don't really got time to sit down and learn, but I do want to make money. Can somebody drop earn in the chat bar? See, what we set up for you guys is we set up our software. Now, our software is state of the line, top of the line. It allows you to make money simply by mirror trading the professional traders. The experts will literally send the trades to your cell phone. And to place a trade takes four steps. We'll show you that later on. Stay on this call and we'll show you guys how these groups work. I'm not going to get too deep on how they work because I have some other professionals on this call that's going to show you exactly how the copy paste method works. But I did want to just show you guys that you have these chat groups and everything where you see the check mark at, all of the trades hit. That means if you would have came in this trade with a dollar, you could have made $80. And look, they called the trade at um, three, uh, 329. In about two hours, you could have cashed out. Depending on how much money you came in in the market, depends on how much you're going to leave back out with. But these groups is smashing, y'all. 
I'm talking about smashing. When I mean smashing, I mean the money is hitting. If you guys have made money from these groups before, drop money in the chat bar. Let them know, because I, I don't want you guys just to hear it from me. I don't want y'all to hear If you made money from these chat groups, somebody drop money. Drop money in there from our people that's watching live on Facebook, because we live on Facebook. Shout out to my boy, Jeff. We live on Facebook screaming right now. Look at all these people in the chat making money from these groups. I can't make this up. I cannot make this up, right? So you guys can be getting paid from these groups too, you guys. We have so much community support uh, to be able to help you guys. We got the vibes chat, you guys, where you can come in here, talk with other traders, uh, ask questions, everything in this chat, you guys. People are um, posting their trade results, everything in this community. You don't want to miss out on being around people that are winning in the game, you guys. So that's literally been my time. I want to tell you guys how to get started with this. I know we got some guests on this call, and I know you guys are eager to get started, right? I know you're like, like oh, how I get in this mug, right? So look, there's different packages that you can join in, and I'm not going to really get too deep on the packages today. Definitely get back with the person that invited you. But you can get in this with as low as $99 all the way up to $1,500. And for me, to be honest, I got the best value package. The best value package is the, the one that allows you to use that auto trader. Okay? Remember, the whole point is to put your life on automation. Right with the best value package, you get the travel discounts, you get the stocks, you get the crypto. You know what I'm saying? You get access to so much, but do what your money can do because we want you to get your foot in the door. We don't want you to be like, oh man, I don't got fifteen hundred. I really want to do this because guess what? If you start off with the ninety nine dollar package or the two ninety nine, really I say two ninety nine because two ninety nine allows you to do crypto and forex. The ninety nine don't let you do crypto so it's really just a basic package but do what your money can do but anytime you're ready to upgrade you only have to pay the difference so that's my time today you guys thank you so much i'm gonna leave my ig in the chat bar matter of fact i tell you my ig i want you guys to follow me and i'm gonna follow you back on ig is isis isis underscore love 511 thank you so much you guys all right, all right, all right, guys. Put some fire in the chat for passion, for posture, for everything that Isis Love brought to this call. Ladies and gentlemen, it's okay to be a copycat as long as you copy the right cat. She just showed you how to present this in the back office. She didn't use a slide. She used what each and every one of us have access to. First and foremost, your back office. Secondly, the communication groups, the circle that we're a part of, the vibes, and all of the amazing success stories that are happening each and every day. So again, put some fire, put some money bags, because Isis Love showed you and your guest and everybody on Facebook how to get to the bag, right? Talking about what everybody is talking about. First and foremost, multiplying your money. on ahead and jumped into what everybody is talking about anywhere, which is trading, which is cryptocurrency. Now, when we land on cryptocurrency, when we talk about how powerful the knowledge behind cryptocurrency is, there's only one person that I could think that would be, who happens to be in this amazing group, right? But she, she's already an author, right? When they talk about crypto, she's got a book that says, make it make sense, right? She breaks down the basics. She has aligned herself with the experts in this field because we know crypto is a still new and an ever evolving field. She is a wife and a mother. She is part of an amazing power couple, right? I absolutely love her energy. She shows up and she shows out and she is consistently making sure that she's up on the expert information on crypto NFTs and everything now in that in that arena so that she can share it with the people that she is influencing on her team and this whole group, this whole circle that we have. All right, so let's move on to our next presenter. I'm getting out of the way of greatness. She calls herself the digital CEO. I'm going to get out of the way um, and, and, and invite to the line Miss Ebony Austin. Are you there, Ebony Austin? Yes, I am here, Zinja. Thank you so much for having me. This has been an amazing event. 
thus far. And I hope you all have been taking notes. I hope you all are excited and you see how much your life can truly change when you connect with like-minded people, when you connect with people who are about their money and not just money today, because it's the difference from money today and money tomorrow. So those people who are on the line right now, who's like, you know what? I'm ready to make a decision to start having my money work for me. I understand that I can make more money in my sleep than making on my feet. So I'm just so excited for this whole event and what I'm about to share with you all right now. Um, again, like she said, my name is Ebony Austin. I go by the digital CEO on IG. You want to follow me on IG where I'm always dropping stuff on there about new stuff to pay attention to in the crypto world. Yes, I wrote a book called Make It Make Sense, Understanding Bitcoin and Cryptocurrency as a New Investor. And in this book, I really get into detail about the history of cryptocurrency, why it's important for us to be invested and how to get started investing. So you want to check that book out as well. Just go to the link in my bio on Instagram and grab that book today so you can start learning immediately. But while you're here right now, I have some gems I'm going to drop for you right now. And um, so you can take this information and start investing today so let me know on the line right now how many people on the line maybe you just let how many people on the line don't own any cryptocurrency let me know drop a one in the chat if you do not own any cryptocurrency and it's okay don't feel like you're behind don't feel like oh i really don't want to press this one these people go no i don't have no crypto right it's all good let me know in the chat if you do not own any crypto right now just started a portfolio two weeks ago and already in profit awesome i'm still learning okay all right i got a couple people who don't have any crypto that's perfectly fine because let me show you before i get into exactly how you can buy it how to keep it safe i want to share with you this report so i'm going to go ahead and share my screen this report uh 2022 global state of crypto report now gemini gemini is a crypto exchange it's one of the most popular crypto exchanges out there and they, what they did was they took about 30,000 people and they surveyed them on how they were feeling about crypto. Now, this is the thing. They started this survey November of 2021 and it ended February 2022. So it was about three months. So if you kind of look to see where Bitcoin was, let me, uh, hold on, let me stop this share and I'm going to share my full screen so I can go back and forth. There we go. So if you look over here, the survey started, um, the survey started November, 2021. All right. So let's kind of look where price was with Bitcoin. So Bitcoin was at about 65,000 when this survey started, when it ended, Bitcoin, you know, took a drop. And it ended in February. So it was about 44,000. So anybody who was in crypto, you kind of got, you know, you made, maybe you made money when it went up to 60K. And then you kind of saw your portfolio kind of take a dip, right? So I feel like this group of people really had a good understanding of the crypto market, its highs and its lows before they decided to participate in this survey. So I wanna show you this survey and the results of it because I think it's so important to understand where we are right now in crypto and why it's so important for you to get started and start investing today. But without, before you start investing, you have to get educated. So that's why you're here right now. So I'm not gonna go through this whole thing, but I definitely recommend you go look this up and read through it. I've already read through it, um, but I wanna go all the way to the findings of the US because that's where we are right now. Um, unless I know it's probably some other people here that um, are coming from different places. 
But the first thing I want to talk about is some of the barriers that a lot of people were saying. They said, you know, honestly, education is the biggest barrier for me. And some of you might be on the line and you might agree, that's why I don't have a big portfolio or that's why I haven't started investing because education, I really don't know exactly where to start when it comes to crypto, right? So I want to keep scrolling down and um, it's a certain one that I want to touch on. Here we go. So this was the findings that they came up with for the United States. So first and foremost, most people bought their first cryptocurrency in like 2020, 2021. So ownership nearly doubled in 2021. We can, it's safe to say that cryptocurrency had its breakout year in 2021. So it says the number of crypto owners in the U.S. nearly doubled in 2021 with 44% of the respondents saying that they bought their first crypto this past year. It also says that a lot of women are crypto curious. So if you're a woman on the line right now, this is you. Let me tell you, you, you are in the right place right now. Another thing that I was really excited about, it says that ownership among Black Americans nearly doubled. It went from 9% of crypto owners to 17% in 2021. And this number is steady growing. Many people believe that this is the future of money. Yes, it can act as an inflation hedge and store value. And again, a big thing that everyone said was education. This is the only reason why I haven't got started. Yes, I see crypto as an opportunity. Yes, I want to get started. But what's holding me back is the education. So if that's you, again, I'm so glad that you're on the line because I'm going to give you just enough stuff for you to go ahead and start today with building that profile. Okay. Um, all right. So let's check this out. Now, how many of you all have seen and, you know, all these prices going up, right? This article I really wanted to talk about right here because it says consumer prices rose 8.5% in March. Guys, this is the highest inflation has been since 1981. Since 1981, prices has not, inflation has not been this high. So what does this mean? The first question you should be asking yourself is, did my income grow 8.5% in March? Did my income grow 8.5% last year? Did my bank account grow 8.5%? And for many of you on the line, it's probably a no if you haven't already been investing, if you haven't already set up that crypto savings account through our Indotech technology, right? So now you have to ask yourself, if prices are growing, but my income is staying the same, at some point, I'm going to start feeling that. At some point, I'm going to start feeling that I don't have enough money to survive. Because I was, you know, I was barely making it as it is. And now prices are consistently rising. You know, I got to do something different because this is not going to change. The government consistently prints more and more money. And as they consistently print money, guess what? The value of our dollar is going to keep on dropping. And what's going to happen is consumer prices are going to keep on rising. So now you have to think, how can I let my money outwork me? I can only be up a certain amount of time during the day, right? I got to go to sleep. So I have to find a way to have my money working consistently because prices are rising consistently. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm telling you that cryptocurrency is going to be here for you to go ahead and start making those gains in your portfolio every single day. And see what I love about crypto, make sure you write this down. You can invest and you can trade. See, it's a lot of traders on the line. I've been trading since 2018. It absolutely changed my life. When I walked off my job in 2016, I was trying to figure out what was I going to do. I started a couple of businesses. Some were successful, successful, some failed. However, I said, I need something else. I need something that my money can consistently grow and I'm the one in control of it. So trading crypto absolutely changed my life. But the beauty about just investing 
is you can put your money there and it consistently grows for you without you doing anything. Can somebody drop in the chat passive income? Can somebody drop in the chat make money in my sleep? Because that's your opportunity that you have with crypto. Listen, a lot of you on the line, you may think that you're late for crypto. You may think that, oh my goodness, the 2021 had its breakout year. I'm so behind, but you are right on time right now. Thinking you're late to start investing in cryptocurrency is thinking that you're too late to use the internet. Now, does anybody on the line right now think they're too late to use the internet? Absolutely not. So you still have so much time. And let me tell you, Right now is a very, very special time in cryptocurrency because we got a lot of discounted prices right now. So you have the opportunity to take a little bit of money and grow it to large amounts. So I want to talk about, because one of the big things in this article right here, in this report, many people said they don't know where to buy crypto. Some people said they're afraid because of cryptocurrency security. They're not sure how to keep your, their crypto secure, right? So I want to go through where to buy crypto, where not to buy crypto, and how do you keep that secure? Is that okay? Is everybody on the line okay with that? So first and foremost, there is a centralized exchanges and decentralized exchanges. I don't have real a lot of time to really go into detail with that. However, if you're part of our community, I do a session, a crypto session every single Thursday at 10 p.m. called Banking on Crypto. And in fact, next week, if I have any guests on the line and you want to be a part of my crypto beginners boot camp that I'm doing next week, you want to for sure get back with the person who invited you to this event so you can get plugged in because next week monday through thursday i'm going to be teaching a crypto session every single day at 10 p.m mr standard time and that's our crypto beginners boot camp all right so centralized exchanges <laughs> would be coinbase and crypto.com now in my banking on crypto sessions i'm going to teach you how to use decentralized exchanges because I like those more and I'm going to get into why, but Coinbase and crypto.com is very, very user friendly. So if you're new to crypto, then purchasing your cryptocurrency on Coinbase and crypto.com is going to be quite easy for you. All right. Now, crypto.com is an app. So you can simply download it on your phone, connect your wallet, connect your debit card, your bank account, or your PayPal account so you can start buying crypto, okay? So you can buy crypto, Coinbase, crypto.com. You can also buy Bitcoin on Cash App. Now, let me tell you, when I first got started in cryptocurrency in 2018, my first coin that I bought was Litecoin. And the reason why, even though I had got all this knowledge about Bitcoin, one thing that I did not know is I didn't have to purchase a full Bitcoin to get invested. See, right now, Bitcoin is at $38,000 $38, right now. So I don't know who on the line is like, okay, I got an extra $38,000 that I can just buy a Bitcoin, you know, no problem. So if that's not you though, it's okay because you can buy fractions of a Bitcoin. They're called Satoshis. So you can go on Cash App right now and you can buy, you know, $10 worth of Bitcoin, $15 worth of Bitcoin, a hundred, whatever it is that you can afford, but you want to start getting invested today. So these are three really easy places where you can start buying crypto. Now, maybe one day, you know, Cash App will add different um, other currencies, but right now Bitcoin is available on Cash App. Now let's talk about where not to buy crypto, all right? First, Robinhood. First of all, let me go back to this article. Did you guys see this? Charlie Munger says that Robinhood trading app is justly unraveling for disgusting practices. So for those who doesn't know who Charlie Munger is, this is an American billionaire. He's actually the vice president of Berkshire Hathaway, which is the company of Warren Buffett. So this American billionaire is telling you, listen, Robin Hood, they're disgusting. 
Now, I don't know if he could have used the worst word than this, but for um, an American billionaire to say they have disgusting practices, I would literally not be doing any business with Robin Hood. But let me tell you, a lot of people did. A lot of people went to go buy crypto on Robin Hood, right? Uh, Robin Hood, they've been out here Robin Hoods for too long. So listen, you somebody got to put a stop to it, okay? So you can, yes, you can get crypto from here, but this is not the best place. Why is that, Ebony? Well, for one, Robin Hood was first introduced as a stock app. This was for stocks. But when crypto start, you know, the, the adoption start growing and they saw the opportunity, they decided to add crypto to their platform. Now, this is the thing. When you purchase crypto on Robinhood, you do not own your crypto. And I'm going to talk about that a little bit more in a second. But you don't own your crypto. Now, they've been saying that, you know, they're going to allow people to take their crypto from their app. But still, even once they do that, it is still not recommended to use Robinhood. <laughs> if you have crypto sitting in Robinhood right now, you have two choices. One, you're just going to let it sit in there. You'll be able to take advantage of the price and the value of crypto, but you don't own that crypto or you got to sell it all out and then go to a different platform and purchase your crypto. Now, the second place you do not want to buy your crypto is PayPal. Yes, again, it might look good because you already use PayPal. You use it for your business or personal. So when you see crypto, you're like, oh, okay, great. I'm already comfortable with PayPal. So buying, selling, and holding crypto on here, that's going to be cool. No. We're not going to use PayPal either. I'm glad that they offered this, but we got to have our people doing crypto the right way. That's why it's important for you to be a part of the right community. Another place where you do not want to buy crypto is Webull. Again, this was for stocks. This was created for stocks, right? So they added crypto later on down the line. Now, I know you guys have heard of hacks and Oh, this person's while um, this person's exchange account got hacked and stole all of this crypto. Well, that's because these accounts are not super secure. You want to use a, a platform that's already about crypto. Oh, they they started their company only surrounding crypto. Okay. Well, let's talk about that hack. Let's talk about, you know, um, let's talk about. After you purchase your crypto, what do you do next? A lot of people, they're worried about security because they're not sure how to keep their crypto safe. Now, keeping your crypto on Coinbase is not safe. Keeping your crypto on crypto.com, it's not safe. Keeping your crypto on Bitcoin, it's not safe. Although these exchanges and an exchange is simply a marketplace where you can buy and sell crypto. So although these are reputable exchanges, once you buy your crypto, you want to then take it from the exchange and then put it into a wallet. Why do you want to do this? Because now you're going to have access to your private keys. Now you really own your crypto. How many of you guys know that if you have crypto on Coinbase right now, you don't own it? How many of you guys know that if you have crypto on crypto.com right now, you don't own it? How many of you guys know right now if you got Bitcoin sitting in your cash app, you do not own that crypto. I hate to break it to you. So I don't care if it's five, 10, 15, a hundred thousand dollars, you don't own a dime of that crypto. You don't own an asset at all. You want to move it from the, now. Now I'm not saying you, you don't, you can't keep a little bit on here. You might want to keep a little bit on here, you know, to be able to just do, do certain transactions. However, you don't want to keep the majority of your crypto on these exchanges. You want to use a wallet. Now there is several different types of wallets. There are cold wallets and there are hot wallets. Hot wallets are wallets that are connected to the internet. 
So a hot wallet would be, for example, a trust wallet, okay? A hot wallet would be an Exodus wallet. These are great wallets as well. Now, if you want to be super secure, then you want to make sure you have a ledger. A ledger is a cold wallet. This is a wallet that is not connected to the internet. Now, this is the thing. If you're going to get this ledger or Trezor, Trezor is another one, whichever one you decide to get, you want to make sure you go to the exact website. So the website is right up here. So you want to make sure you write that down. You want to go to the exact website. Don't go to Amazon. Let me tell you why you don't go to Amazon. It's a lot of people out there trying to scam people out of their crypto. And let me tell you that they are being successful. Why? Because of that education piece. People are lacking education. People are curious, but they are not sure exactly what to do because they lack the education. So you're getting it right here. I hope you're taking great notes. So don't go to Amazon. Let me tell you why. If you go to Amazon, what's going to happen is you log into Amazon to get your ledger. And then what happens is a scammer could log into Amazon. They can purchase a ledger. They can write down their security key. That's another thing. You want to make sure that you write down your security key, your security frames, all right? So when you open up a ledger or a trezor, or you open up a, a trust wallet, or you open up an Exodus wallet, it's going to give you a secret phrase, or it's called a recovery seed. Now, it's going to be about 12 to 24 uh, words. So it's going to be very random. It's going to be like orange, banana, um, ice cream, computer. Uh, it's going to be all over the place. But you want to make sure you write that phrase down and you write it in the order that it gives it to you and keep it somewhere safe. I'm talking about this seed phrase needs to go wherever you keep your life insurance policies. This seed phrase needs to go wherever you keep the deeds to your home. This is how important this seed phrase is. Now, let me explain why. Let's say, for example, you lose your computer or you drop your computer, it breaks, right? Let's say for some, you, some, you, someone steals your computer, whatever, okay? If something happens, the only way you are going to have access to that wallet is if you have that seed phrase. So you want to make sure you don't save it in your phone because guess what? If you lose your phone, then there goes your seed phrase. And then you won't ever have access to that crypto ever again. It doesn't matter who you call. There are literally people right now that has billions of dollars in crypto that, that has no access to it because maybe they purchased it in 2009 or maybe they purchased crypto in 2010 and they didn't really know how big it was going to be. They were just purchasing some. So, you know, they didn't write the seed phrase down and now they don't even have access to that crypto because they don't have that phrase. So make sure you write that phrase down. But back to security, again, don't leave your crypto on an exchange. Move it to a hardware wallet or a cold wallet like Ledger, all right, or Trezor. And again, don't go on Amazon because scammers can order, scammers can come to Ledger, order um, one of these devices, write down the seed phrase, resell it to you on Amazon and you're a crypto newbie. So you go buy this on Amazon, you load all your crypto on here and then guess what? They have your seed phrase. So they have access to all your crypto and they wipe you out. There's nothing anybody can do if that happens. So make sure you go directly to the websites to purchase, all right? Now, that's really what I wanted to go over as far as, you know, buying crypto, understanding how to buy crypto, how to what, how, understanding crypto security. Now, before I get into NFTs, I want to show you a place where you can start researching crypto. And I, I'm getting some feedback, um, leaders, if we can get the line muted, that would be great. So this is CoinGecko.com. I really like CoinGecko.com because it is unbiased and you can get a lot of information here. Now, let me show you this before I get to crypto.com. There was um, questions on here. Here we go, right here. So 
The question was posed, what if anything would make you more comfortable purchasing cryptocurrency? So let's just focus on the US. So I had, so 17% of people said recommendation from friends, right? They'll be more comfortable if they get recommendation from friends. But the thing is, you've got to be careful who your friends are, because if these friends are really not into crypto like that, they don't have the correct knowledge, they're not tapped into the right communities, they don't have the right education, then they can have you purchasing crypto that is worth nothing. And let me tell you, it's not always about price. See, a lot of people will come to, will come to, you know, coingecko.com. They'll check out all the cryptos on here and they'll say, oh, this crypto, let's just scroll all the way down to something that's super, super cheap. Let's go to something super, super cheap. So they might go here and they might say, oh, this crypto right here is only 72 cents. That's cheap. I'm going to buy a thousand of it right? They might be like, oh, this crypto right here is 99 cents, right? Oh, that's super cheap. This crypto right here, 93 cents, 18, seven cents, right? This crypto is only seven cents. Man, go buy a hundred thousand of them, right? And you like, okay, because it's your friend. Well, no, because price is not the deciding factor at all. It's more things that you want to look into, like what's the use case of the coin, right? What's the purpose of the coin? What is the coin coming to do to change, you know, the change our current uh, financial infrastructure? What is it doing to help our way of life? So you got to find that information out before you just start throwing your money into coins, right? So I'm going to look up this one particular coin. Um, hint, hint, this is a great project and I'm going to talk a little bit more about it. But this is, this project looks rare right here, right? So this project is a dollar forty-one. Now so that might be appeasing to someone. Oh, it's a dollar forty-one cents. So you know I'm going to buy a whole bunch. Again, though, price is not all that matters. What matters is this information over here. This information over here. And in the boot camp, I'm actually going to be teaching about tokenomics, which is the study of economics for crypto tokens. So we're going to get into the meaning of circulating supply, total supply, max supply. So we're going to get into how to look at these numbers to decide if this is a project that you want to get into. But over here on the right, you see the website. So you can go check out the website. Let me go see how the website looks. Does it look professional, right? If you go somewhere, if you go look at a, um, a look at a project, you go to the website. I think everybody on the line knows what a professional website looks like so if the website doesn't look good then why would you even be part why would you be investing in a company that couldn't even afford to put up money for their website right so it's certain stuff that you want to look at this website looks great i'm going to talk about this project in a second other things that you want to go look at you want to go look at the community how is their twitter account is it a lot of people following them go look at the discord what are they talking about inside of the discord are they excited about the project are the owners dropping new information you also want to go look at the partnerships who's partnered with this project because people backing projects that's a good thing right like for example this other project right here called B chain which is another great project that I'm invested in. B chain they have so many projects. They're partnered with BMW. They're partnered with Walmart in China, right? So they so that lets me know, wait, this this project is major. The the numbers look good. The partnerships look good. You go to the website, the website looks good. The information looks good. So you need to know these things before you just start dropping money inside of a crypto. So recommendations from friends and parents and cousins and children. And this is all good if you know they're connected to the right people. If you know they're connected to the right community. So I'm so grateful that everybody is here on the line right now because right now you're connected to the right people. So again, coingecko.com is a place where you can come and do your own research. How many of you guys have saw a post on social media and they, they give you a project and then they say D-Y-O-R, which stands for do your own research. And it's like, if you're new to crypto, you're trying to figure out, well, what does that mean? 
how do I do my own research, right? Well, you can use CoinGecko.com to give you all the information you need to start researching a project. So I love Crypto.com, I mean CoinGecko.com, and I wanted to share that with you. Now let's go back to Looks Rare. Let's talk about NFTs. Now, if you want to purchase an NFT, and I'm about to wrap it up. So if you want to purchase an NFT right now, the most popular marketplace to purchase NFTs is OpenSea. However, Looks Rare is a new uh, platform that's coming, and I believe it is going to change the game when it comes to an NFT marketplace. One thing that I love about this, um, this actual marketplace right here is that you can purchase your NFTs from here and you can stake your NFTs and earn rewards by staking your NFTs. Now, some people might be trying to figure out well, what does staking mean, sis? Like you, you, I, I'm trying to keep up, but you keep using these vocabs. I'm not sure what that is. Don't worry, because guess what? We're going to get all into that in the boot camp next week but you can stake your NFTs here and earn rewards. So that is a big plus. Now, when you're thinking about, should I purchase an NFT? These are just a couple of questions that you wanna ask yourself. You wanna ask yourself again, what is the use case? If I purchase this NFT, what am I getting out of it? Now you have some people who use NFT as like a membership, right? You purchase their NFT, you get exclusive access to their membership. You get exclusive access to their events. Or maybe this NFT, it, 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 was, um, it was rare. It wasn't a lot, right? Now you see an NFT and it's like over 500,000 different assets. I mean, come on, that number is too big. Right, you want to get, you want to start, you want to look at NFTs that doesn't have a lot out there. So it's super simple to purchase an NFT. All you have to do is come to either Looks Rare or, oh, another thing that I, I really like this project as well is people have to purchase Looks Rare in order to purchase NFTs on their platform. So, hint, hint, this is why purchasing the coin let's go back to it this is why purchasing the coin is such a great investment and if you ever want to know where you can purchase a coin all you have to do is go search up the coin then you can scroll down all the way where you see exchanges and then it's going to show you where you can actually purchase the asset all right and then again remember you purchase your asset you send it to your wallet so and it's in, hey, price is a, when price and the, the tokenomics all go in together, when they all are lining together, that's a beautiful thing. So this is a dollar 41. Can you believe that Bitcoin was a dollar 41 before? Can you believe that Ethereum was a dollar 41 before? So I'm giving you game right now that you, everybody on the line can go purchase some looks rare. So Ebony, how, what's going to make this price jump? Well, guess what? They people have to purchase looks rare, the looks coin in order to even make purchases on this platform. So this is just amazing. All right. So I hope you wrote that down, but it's really, really simple to purchase your first NFT. All you're going to do is come to looks rare or open C, whichever one you decide to do, and you're going to click this connect button. Now, another wallet that I didn't mention, but you want to have is a MetaMask wallet. All right. This is a wallet that's on top of the Ethereum blockchain. This is the wallet that you're going to connect to looks rare or open sea in order to see me what they think of you now with all this going on is going to be worse than i even look all right awesome so um you're going to connect this you're going to connect your open sea or looks rare simply by pressing connect and then you're going to click metamask now i know you see coinbase wallet but no we don't use coinbase wallet oh i'm glad i just said that because it reminded me of another thing Coinbase announced that they were going to have an NFT marketplace. Let me show you what happened to the stock when they announced that. Let me show you. Oh, this just reminded me, if you were on my session last Thursday and you took this trade I sent out, you should be highly in profit right now. I, I marked this chart up on the session last night. Price was here when I marked up the session 
and look at it now. It did exactly what we talked about it doing. We talked about this being a bearish flag and it was going to be a drop right after that. I hope you all took advantage, those who were on the call last Thursday. But let's look at Coinbase really quick. And I'm wrapping it up. Coinbase announced that they were going to have a NFT marketplace. Look at what happened to the price when they announced this, okay? Look at what happened to the price. It dropped fast and it's still dropping. So everybody didn't agree with this. And let me tell you, we're not purchasing NFTs from Coinbase. Coinbase is cool to purchase your crypto as a beginner. However, we're going to move you from Coinbase after you get your first coins, okay? And we're going to show you how to use a decentralized platform. Let's just talk about that really quick. Coinbase is a centralized platform. You know what else is a centralized platform? Your bank. What does that mean, Ebony? Well, the bank can close your account at any moment. They can freeze your funds at any moment. Why? It's because it's one entity that owns it all. So they can, they can block you out. Think about what happened um, in different parts of the world when there was uh, riots going on, when there were uh, protests going on. These governments were freezing accounts. Why can they do that? Because your money is sitting in a centralized exchange or a centralized bank account where somebody else has control. So you got to understand crypto is giving us the control back of our money. It's given us the control we never knew that we gave away in the first place. That's why it's so important to be involved in crypto right now. So Coinbase, you got tens of thousands of dollars in Coinbase Guess what Coinbase likes to do? Anytime when it's a lot of volatility in the crypto market, anytime when people are purchasing a lot at one time, they will go offline. When they go offline, you have zero access to your assets, zero. So this is why you purchase and you move. And we're not messing with NFTs on Coinbase, okay? I just gave you looks rare and open fee. All you have to do is click connect, Click your MetaMask, set it, easily set your MetaMask up, download it on your computer. You got to have Ethereum or in looks rare's case, looks rare inside of your wallet, which you can simply just go look at how you buy those things. And it really it's simple as just going to an exchange and then you can purchase your first NFT. So that's all I have for today. I hope you all learned something. I hope you were able to take this information that I gave you all and you can go and apply it as soon as possible. Listen, don't forget to follow me on IG. If you want some resources, click the link in my bio. I have plenty of crypto re resources that you can go ahead and connect to so you can start getting crypto rich. Thank you so much for having me. Back to you, Zinja. Mm -hmm. All right, folks, we need to keep this energy going. I need you to drop some bombs in the chat because that's just what the digital CEO just dropped. And I need you to understand how empowered you are because just with those basics, right? On how to secure your crypto, right? On exactly where to go, the, the beginning steps to go ahead and purchase your NFTs, right? You have already empowered yourself to be a resource for people coming to you with those questions. What's going on with NFTs? I see you, you're always posting about cryptos. What's happening with that? So simply because you showed up here, you are now an authority for most of the people who will be reaching out for you. So uh, go ahead and put some fire in the chat for everybody who was presented to this point, but we're not done, ladies and gentlemen. I'm super excited. I'm on this call. Today is my mom's birthday. So I'm literally at the Crackle Barrel here in, uh, in Vegas at brunch because this training call was scheduled before that, right? And I make a commitment and I show up. So I'm passionate about the fact that I wanted to be in and around all these leaders, right? I wanted to get this vibe, get this energy. And if you are not tuning in, if you are not tapping into the groups, you are missing out. Ebony Austin right now is doing a, a crypto boot camp every Thursday night. If you're not on it, she's dropping these bombs, guys. She's letting you know what's going on. So this next person I'm bringing to the stage is the reason I'm here and have been rocking with this community. Just, uh, it, it just hit four, 
four, four years this month, right? The gentleman uh, is, is an amazing father, right? He's an amazing husband, right? Uh, he is, gosh, um, he's a way maker, right? He can speak to people. He can reach out to folks. Um, he actually not only walks you through what's going on with uh, network marketing, but also empowers you with his no more nine to five mindset on how you can build any business you put your mind to. I call him the cheat code. He's my mentor. He's a lot of these people on the lines mentor that you have seen before me. So I'm gonna get out of the way of greatness and invite to the line, my mentor, my coach, Mr. No More Nine to Five, Chad Thompson, are you on the line? Yes, ma'am, can you hear me? I can hear you loud and clear, coach. The floor is yours. Outstanding. Yeah, I think God is super good. I believe that all of us on this line is, 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 is already blessed, you know, for multiple reasons. I just want to thank the ladies who put this call together. I mean, the energy, if you're, if you're blessed to be on this call for this long, because I'm not going to be long, but just, just give yourself a thankful right in the chat give yourself a thankful in the chat because i'm even thankful i'm even grateful for this awesome 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 platform right and to be in business with these type of juggernauts like the, these legends these boss ladies like first of all I always dreamed about having friends like jeff always dreamed about having friends like Isis, Ebony, Zinja. I mean, think about it. When, when I looked at my circle, wasn't nobody dropping books. Wasn't nobody talking about wealth. Wasn't nobody staying up uh, overtime, sacrificing away from their kids. Now, remember, we got people staying away, sacrificing away from their kids, but it's not to study crypto. So you don't have to go through the, the heartaches and the pain. It ain't to lose all this money trading, so you don't have to lose no money trading. It ain't to find the platform with the right price, $99. Who don't have $99, right? So you got to shout out these people. I'm so thankful for these individuals. But my time here is short. I just want to get into some, some mindset, what everybody needs. Everybody needs a mentor, right? And I've been blessed to be mentored by some of the best entrepreneurs in the last 10 years, which has just like ISIS has took me from the very bottom to the top 2% in the world. I literally had my best year ever last year. We made multiple millions, multiple millions. And guess what? My year, my goal for this year is five to $6 million. The way I'm going to do that is, is everything these ladies told you and these three words right here in front of you. Be, do, have. Now, you got to be like God because you are a God. Who, who agrees they are a God? Comment, I agree in the chat. This is not for everybody, right? But I believe I am a king maker. So if I believe that I am a God, I must do godly things so I can have God's promise over my life, which is abundance. So nothing in the world moves unless you move in this order. First, before you have it, you got to what? Be it. Right before you have it, you got to what? Do it. So I'm fired up. I teach my kids this. As you can see, my profile picture I got three boys and a girl. So you know we ain't faking because it takes a lot of money to run a family. <laughs> so let's think about it like this, Ebony. Check this out, right? You are the bag, so you got to secure yourself. Nobody's going to save you right now, ladies and gentlemen. Here's the step. Self-discipline is first. What do you do every day? Forget what you do. Write this down. How you do anything is how you do everything. Somebody asked me the other day, yo, Chad, I see your abs coming in. Damn, man, how do you stay motivated? Dude, I never want to go to the gym. Never. So it's not about staying motivated. It's about staying disciplined. 
Like motivation is going to wear off. Like nobody cares about motivation. Like, so that's not the answer. Chat, how do you stay motivated? I don't. I stay consistent. The next thing is health is important, guys. If you don't feel healthy, then you're not going to really do nothing in life. Like to feel sexy is everything. And even if you lose two pounds, even if you change your breakfast routine, right? What, what does that mean? Stop eating breakfast, drink some water, right? Eat some fruit, but health is wealth. Your craft. Yeah. What we focus on here is, is, is our trading skills and staying loyal to our community. Somebody comment loyal to the community because the people that's on this line, we are fighting for you. We are working for you. We are believing in you. So you got to stay loyal to us. So the craft is a few things. All we do is learn how to trade. All we do is learn how to tell people what we do. That is it. I'm trading, I'm investing, and I'm sharing the good knowledge. That's our craft, ladies and gentlemen. If you can master that, guess what? Everything is going to be good. Now, me personally, I want to tell everybody something. I want you to see this right here. Do you love your mentor? I want to ask y'all something. Shake, un unmute your face, say yes, or just shake your head up and down. Do you love your mentor? Yes, yes. I love my mentor. Yes, they're the best. Okay. Now, yes. the next question is, yes. do you trust your mentor? Yes, yes. yes. I trust yes. my mentor. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Now, listen, family and friends, because some of y'all are not a part of the family yet. Y'all just friends. So listen, family and friends. The person who has your ear right now, the person who you are listening to right now, literally has the access to your heart, which can control your decisions and your decisions can destroy yeah. okay. your future. Hey, somebody muted this, this person, right? So if you want your decisions to actually benefit your future, you gotta understand how you pay your mentor back. This is important. The way you do that is you become an attitude role model. You always ask yourself things like, man, why am I about to do this? Like whatever you're about to do, I want you to ask yourself, why am I about, why am I about to do this? Like for example, you hopped on this Zoom call. Why did you hop on this Zoom call? Right. I want you to start making decisions on becoming a role model. If it's not bettering your attitude, your finances, or your community, like let's really in your spirit, let's really think about it. We got to start saying no. Somebody comment no in the chat with three O's, all capital. Right. Because we got to get used to saying that word. If it's not about what we're doing, then we don't want it. Now, I know a lot of y'all are like, what's going on here? So I teach a lot of entrepreneurship from everything i like i make money period i'm a money maker so when y'all partner with this community like ebony said y'all gonna get a whole bunch of value and right here this is one of my favorite favorite people in the world this is kim kardashian and paris hilton what most people don't know is paris hilton was kim kardashian's mentor before kim became the, the most famous person in the world she was cleaning paris hilton's closet some of you on this line have so much ego, y'all would never, ever rub your mentors back, buy them a coffee, rub their feet, or offer anything. But write this down. Service leads to greatness. Some of you are not in the right rooms because, you're, because of your unwillingness to serve. See, the best leaders in the world were the best followers. And some of you right now need to follow the person who invited you to this call and go ahead and invest that $99, that 1500 and get started. Why? Because you have to be a great follower to become a great leader. Now today, which th this PowerPoint is pretty old, she's worth way more than that. But the fact is, it's still the same. 
She started off rubbing Paris Hilton's feet, following her around and every once she once she once she got into the right environments. Oh man, this is so good. Environments. You got to also know what you want. So she was rubbing Paris Hilton's feet, doing every, right up under her, learning everything about her, organizing her closet. For the one time Paris invites her to an event and she knew exactly what to do. She opened her mouth. There's a miracle in your mouth, ladies and gentlemen. But you first have to get a mentor. You have to serve your mentor. You have to become your mentor. And then you have to go to events with your mentor and outwork your mentor. Somebody comment outwork your mentor in the chat because some of y'all are asleep. Here's a prime example of someone outworking their mentor. Somebody, somebody unmute your line and tell me who was Drake's mentor, if you know anything. Who was Drake's mentor? Little Wayne. Little Wayne. And Little Wayne was the best in the world at the time. I mean, arguably still is to some people. But, but he coached Drake. Drake was humble. Humble. Look at this, guys. You should get fired up after that. Why? Because no matter how much money we help you make, you better stay humble and you better never forget where you came from. Just like Isis Love. I personally sponsor her in this business. I remember when she was homeless. And Isis Love is a great example of someone who has, has made money and never forgot where she comes from. Still holds the edification, still holds the loyalty there. Changed her life. Zinja changed her life, fired her balls, still holds the loyalty there. So never forget who helped you change your life. Edification challenge. I want y'all to write this down, the edification challenge, especially with our group. It doesn't matter who you are, as long as you know how to edify. If you know how to edify somebody, you're going to be, you're going to be that person because anybody will listen to anybody if they have good, if people are saying good things about them. Now, you don't have to be super, super rich, but you do have to be super, super edified. And that's all you need to build your business and build your brand, period. Get obsessed with your goals. Why are you starting here? You heard so much great things, but now let's put it back on you. Find three reasons why you need to get started. Isis Love gave you one of them. She said, look at your bank account. I'm going to give you another one. Look at your family, how they live. What are they talking about? What are they asking for? That was enough reason for me to say, fuck my job forever. Forever. 12 years later, it's still that way. Why? Because I couldn't stand working my ass off, asking for my boss to let me off to go hang out with my kids for their birthday. I couldn't, I couldn't deal with it. I couldn't deal with the fact of working and my check is gone. Let me tell you, I couldn't deal with the fact that I would work. The government would get theirs before I got mine. I would get my check and then I had to pay bills and it was gone. I hated it. So the thing I had to change was everything, but it started with the five senses. So yes, you could get started in this opportunity, that's great, but that doesn't guarantee you will be successful. This is the only guarantee in business. If you're ready for it, I need you to say, I'm ready. Let me hear you, I need some energy. If you're ready, let me hear you say- I'm ready. 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 All right. ready. I need three more I'm ready. Where y'all at? Three more I'm ready. There we go. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. There we go. All right, guys. So I'm not going to insult your intelligence. So I'm going to put it on the screen. Right? And I'm not going to read it to you. I want you to look at it with me. Now, sound. 
The only thing I'm going to tell you about mastering your sound is quit this small talk. Monitor your words. Just like I told you, before you do anything, ask yourself, why am I doing it? Now I'm going to tell you, before you say something, why the hell am I saying it? We don't just talk just to talk. We're not just wasting words no more. Isis Love said it before. Words are powerful. Your word is powerful. You can change your life the next 60 days just like we are with the right words. Touch. What are you touching? What are you touching? I challenge you this weekend, just like Zinja's sacrifice. She's with her mom and everything. Look at that sacrifice, guys. We're not going to be long. We want to respect Zinja. But look at this. What are you going to touch this weekend? Go touch a new car. Go get into a new house. I challenge you to go do that. Touch something new so your skin, your energy, your blood is not the same. An example of touching something new is if you got friends, go to your friend's house if they got a, a nicer house than you. And ask them, say, hey, look, let me work. Can I work in your house today? Can I work in your environment just, can I, just for two, three hours? If you don't mind, I'll stay out the way. What does that take? That takes humility. You have to understand where you're at in life. And just because you're asking for to be great, it doesn't mean you're, you're, you're a bad person. You got to understand, um, Walt Disney borrowed from uh, his life insurance policy because he went broke building Disney World. So he had to borrow from his money, his retirement money, to complete the project. He had to ask his friends and things for money to complete. So you never hear about those stories. You just hear, oh, man, Walt Disney's a racist, but he has the biggest theme park in the world. And he was fired from a job for lack of imagination. Yeah, but yeah, he was fired from a job for lack of imagination and fired him up because he became the most creative person in the world. Now... Years later, after coming up with the idea, he went broke in the process, had to beg all these people, had to borrow all his money to what? To get back on top. So there's phases you go through, and that's why the five senses is key. Because when the opportunity fails you, your senses can't. Somebody say, I felt that. I felt that. Now, I want you to listen to this, if everybody who felt that, real quick. You know, living with you, it hasn't been easy. People see me, but they think of you. Now with all this going on, this is going to be worse than ever. It don't have to be. No, sure it does. Why? You got a lot going on, kid. Oh, well, my last name? That's the reason I got a decent job. That's the reason why people deal with me in the first place. Now I start to get a little ahead. I start to get a little something for myself, and this happens. Now I'm asking you as a favor not to go through with this, okay? This is only going to end up bad for you, and it's going to end up bad for me. You think I'm hurting you? Yeah, in a way you are. That's the last thing I ever wanted to do. I know that's not what you want to do, but that's just the way that it is. Don't you care what people think? Doesn't it bother you that, that people are making you out to be a joke and that I'm going to be included in that? Do you think that's right? Do you? You ain't going to believe this. Well, you used to fit right here. I'd hold you up to say to your mother, this kid's going to be the best kid in the world. This kid's going to be somebody better than anybody ever knew. And you grew up good and wonderful. It was great just watching every day. It was like a privilege. Then the time come for you to be your own man and take on the world, and you did. But somewhere along the line, you changed. You stopped being you. You let people stick a finger in your face and tell you you're no good. And when things got hard, you started looking for something to blame, like a big shadow. Let me tell you something you already know. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place, and I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me, or nobody is going to hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward, how much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. Now, if you know what you're worth, then go out and get what you're worth. But you got to be willing to take the hits and not pointing fingers saying you ain't where you want to be because of him or her or anybody. Cowards do that, and that ain't you. 
You're better than that. I'm always going to love you no matter what. No matter what happens. You're my son, you're my blood. You're the best thing in my life. But until you start believing in yourself, you ain't going to have a life. Don't forget to visit your mother. Wow. 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 Somebody talk to me. If you don't believe in yourself, you might not have a life. Somebody talk to me. So guys, all I want to say is it's time to stop playing and it's time to get focused. Now you've heard from the one and only your favorite entrepreneur, Chad Entrepreneur Thompson, Mr. No More 9 to 5. And there's only two places you can find me. That's the beach and the bait. God bless. We'll return the call back to Zinja. Peace, peace. Or actually, Zinja's probably right. on the mom. Let's, let's, huh? Are you there? I'm right here, coach. All right. I tried to be fast for you, Z. Hope you learned something. Give it back to you, boss. Absolutely, boss. I need fire in the chat. I need you guys to absolutely understand that this is a wake-up call that we get to make a decision, we get to reorganize, we get to commit again to see what we're gonna do in the month of May and beyond. We are really significantly in the second quarter of 2022. So all of this fuel, all of this inspiration, all these things that, that all these amazing leaders are saying, you have a chance to, to let them land. You have a chance to go, all right, as hard as I've been working, I can turn up, right? There's certain different things in that last clip that coach showed us like, ooh, I did turn that, that into an excuse, right? So this is the time to take accountability for yourself. So super grateful to be in, in circle, in community with every amazing leader on this call. For me, I don't consider it a sacrifice because I'm better four years later because I connected my boat, my train to Chad Entrepreneur, uh, No More 9 to 5, Chad Entrepreneur Thompson. I'm better because Isis Love has been in my life being an amazing role model. I'm better because I, I, I pay attention to what Jeff is doing on social media and I follow him. I'm better because Ebony Austin is a complete boss and mastermind when it comes to crypto. So I make sure that I'm, I'm locking in with these amazing leaders, right? But before we go today, we've got two more amazing leaders. They hail one from um, California. She's an amazing actress. She's an entrepreneur. She's a crypto investor. She's also crazy on the charts. The other one is from Milwaukee. And when we say, hey, sugar, everywhere she goes, she infects people, first and foremost, with her amazing energy. Secondly, with the knowledge that I forgot how many degrees she has, she always tells it as a part of her story. But these two ladies want to make sure that when you're on the charts, you feel like there's community, that you can ask questions in the 52 weeks group in the ketchup and mustard group, all right? That if you tap in, they are there to make sure we can hold your hand, we can give you the answers you need along the way. So without further ado, two of our trading, oh, uh-oh, 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 I might have, uh, is Asia Kai up next? It's not Jack. Oh, okay, cool, 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 cool. All right, we'll go ahead, we'll do another edification for Miss Asia Kai. All right, so it's not Jack Lopez, we've got Kiki, uh, we've got Miss Kiana Bosworth out of LA. We're going to go ahead and bring her to the line, but also joining her. I want to give this lady her just due. She is an absolute queen, right? She is an absolute influencer with how she affects people. All right. She is a boss chick. She is super about her business. She's one of the most lovely women I've ever had um, a pleasure of having conversation with and working with. So I'm going to get out of the way of greatness for two boss babes coming to the line next. All right. We've got Miss Kiana Bosworth and we've got Miss Asia Kai. Are you guys on the line? Yes, yes, we are. Asia, are you there, girl? Yes, I am. What's up? What's up? How you the feeling? The floor is yours, ladies. Take it away. Okay. Hey, hey guys. Uh, Asia going to go ahead and start this one off. So I'll let you go ahead and talk, Asia. Okay, cool. So how are you guys feeling? Are you guys feeling good on the Super Saturday? Like, 
drop some fire in the chat if you guys just got some value from the the boss himself mr no more nine to five like drop some fire in the chat right because guys i truly feel like just sitting here you know earlier i was eating my breakfast i was like wow like from jeff to isis to zinja to you know just just literally everyone who's been just here talking and just sharing value just been like wow like my notebook is field. Okay, my notebook is field. So um, we're gonna go ahead and talk about more so about trading, right? A lot of you guys already learned about kind of like what the skill set is. You guys have been kind of like knowing about like, um, like what it takes before that to have this mindset from our coach, Mr. Nine to Five. But today I wanna talk about something that's really, really simple. Okay, super simple. So what simple is, is how quick you can actually not only get results yourself, but also help your people get results. Now, the name of the game is duplication. Someone dropped duplication in the chat box for me. Someone dropped duplication, okay? Because in any business, okay, whether it's traditional, all right, whether it's this business, the name of the game is duplication. So what can I do that's simple that the next person can win in, right? And when I first got into this type of uh, skill set, I was like, you know what? You know, I've always been like the student, you know, unlike I, you know, I just said she, she wasn't really good at math. You know, me, I always was like, you know, the very studious person. I was always like that a plus a minus person you know i was always the one that was really looking to put the study in right the one that's with the elbow grease in right <laughs> someone try, try, uh, go ahead and type elbow grease in the chat me, right that was me even when i was studying for uh nutrition which i no longer even use today right i want to put the elbow gr grease in the sweat equity to learn a skill set but another thing is what was really my question was, you know, how can I make sure the next person wins, right? Because just think about it. You know, I've seen so many people, you know, drop out of school. I mean, we quit things right away. Like when we get a gym membership, half of us, you know, don't even go the following week. Chad was just talking about that, about our habits, right? And how important it is to not just be, you know, using one thing in your life, but how you do anything is how you do everything. So my thought was, how can I create duplication? Now in your notes at the top, if you can hear my voice, I want you to write the words copy and paste because it's, that's exactly what we're gonna show you today. So no matter if you know the skill 1000% or you're bringing someone in for the very first time, right, or you just wanna show someone a demonstration of kind of like what it looks to copy and paste. I'm gonna show you how to go ahead and do that. Now, after, you know, I'm gonna have my good sis Kai Kai bring, you know, come on and talk about more so about trading and, you know, the more deep details for my skilled traders. But let's go ahead and talk about it. Okay, so once you go ahead and get added, to our platform, our educational platform here with the vibes, with here no more nine to five, you're gonna get a back office, okay? In that back office, when you log in with your username and your password, just like how you do with an email, right? A lot of us have Yahoo's and Gmail's and things like that. You're gonna have your own login that you create if you're a brand new guest here on the line. I'm sure there's plenty of them, you know? Um, and what's gonna happen is you're gonna log in. Now, the first thing you're gonna have access to to get results, someone type results, right, in the chat, because you wanna get results quick, right? You don't wanna wait 72 hours or past 72 hours to get results, why? Why is it so important that I or you get results in the chat box? It's because it's not about you, right? Jeff just talked about, how the red bottoms, right? I have a few in my closet. The red bottoms was not for him. It's for the people that's after him, right? So you wanna get results, but this is how you're gonna get results. You're gonna go into alert zone, 
So even if you've been a part of the community here and you haven't got alert zone, all right, I'm gonna show you guys, all right? So once you go into the iGenius back office, okay? I hope you guys can see my screen, all right? You're gonna press on something called alert zone. Now, once you get to alert zone, what's going to happen is you're gonna have a series of group chats, right? You're gonna have a series of group chats. This is gonna be the first message that you go ahead and get. Now, you have a virtual assistant that's gonna tell you exactly what um, what um, links you have access to, all right, what signals. Now, I know this probably sounds like Japanese, right? Like when I first got started with this information, I was like, signals, personal development, what is that? What is, what is all these different things, right? And here's the best way to ex explain it, all right? You're gonna have numbers, right? So for example, Okay, you're going to have numbers that you type in from one app into the money app. And that money app is called Meta Trader 4. So you definitely want to download that as well, too. Okay, but these numbers, where are they coming from? Well, this is a part of your membership. So no matter what membership you have, you always have access to some type of signals. Now, the signals are going to come to your phone in a form of a text message, which is going to be through another app called Telegram. So you're going through Telegram. You already have yourself added. You're in the group chats. Now you're in these different, you know, messaging group where it tells you, hey, you know what cell uh, looks like Japanese and then tells you these different numbers, right? Now, let's talk about it. So. For example, in this one right here, it says sell, then it has a currency pair, right? When I remember, I remember when I was very, very in the beginning, I didn't know about these currency pairs. But now that I've been a part of this trading space for over three years, I know all different currency pairs. So this one right here is called the Great British Pound versus the, the Swiss franc, okay? So moving forward after that, it's gonna give you exactly where you need to enter and it's gonna give you these different numbers. Now remember, it's not about knowing everything at once. Right now, it's just about getting results. So what happens next? Well, next, I go into my money app, MetaTrader 4, okay? And if you don't already have this set up, you want to download it, all right? And then after that, you want to create a demo account, all right? How do you make a demo account, okay? Cool. So the first thing you do is you go to your settings. I'll wait for a lot of us to go through it. You're gonna press on new account. You'll go to open a demo account. You'll type in Hugo's way, right? My actual broker is uh, Osprey, uh, Osprey, but I'm not, I'm probably not even saying that, right? But that's the one I use. But if you wanna use a demo account, you can always use this one Hugo's way, okay? So from there, you just go ahead and change your deposit. Now, remember, this is fake money, right? Monopoly is money. Oh, hold on. People trying to call me. Yep. So let's go back. So then I register and done. So now on the screen, you're going to be able to see all these different currency pairs, right? So I'm not gonna place a trade with you guys, but I want you guys to understand just how simple this can be, right? So let's just say I was going for that currency pair, the Great British Pound versus CHF. So all I would have to do is go right here, type it in, GBP, all right, CHF. I press the add button. I press cancel, I go back, I click here and click trade. Now it's already pretty much set up. So we have like one more step left, okay? So the next part is, okay, well now I have to know which one I have to click on, all right? So the first thing is you wanna look and see which one should I click on. Now in this example, all right, since it just says sell, right? I know that's gonna be a market execution. 
Because if not, it'll tell you, oh, you know what? We're going to do a buy limit. Oh, we're going to do a sell stop. Oh, we're going to do, you know, so-and-so, right? And then moving forward, I just go ahead and put in one TP and then I put in one stop loss. So my stop loss would go here and I would just type in those numbers. My take profit would go in there and I would just go ahead and write in that number. Now, people always ask, Asia, you know, how do I know which take profit to put in? Well, I wanna tell you guys a story, okay? I wanna tell you guys a quick story before we go ahead and move on to the next part. So I have a little brother. My little brother actually just got admitted into one of the top schools for football, all right? And he plays football all the time. At first, I didn't understand football. Do we have any Tom Brady fans on the call? If so, just go ahead and drop Tom Brady in the chat, okay? Or Odell Beckham, all right? If you know what position Odell Beckham plays, that's the position my little brother plays, okay? And my little brother, he goes from one end to the other end. Now, I want you guys to think about it just like this. For every take profit, think about my brother getting down all those different yards to the other yard. Now, take profit. Oh, it's okay. There we go. Okay, cool. So back to the story, right? My little brother goes down from one end of the field to the other end, right? He wants to hit a touchdown. That's the objective with football, ladies, okay? That's what I had to learn, okay? And what I learned is that, okay, the touch or the yards that's closest to him are going to be the easiest TPs in our instance to go ahead and hit. So you know, do I want to, of course, hit TP3 and have, you know, put TP3 here, take profit three, right, closer to the touchdown in our story? Of course. But what would be the most, um, which one would actually be the better one, right? TP1, the one that's closer to him or the one that's all the way closer to the, the touchdown? Well, it'll be take profit one right? It'll be the one that's closest to him for him to go ahead and get to the yards just for that instance. Now, of course, we always want to get to TP3 later, but guess what? We can always place more trades. We can always just go ahead and have that trade close out and profit us make money and then us get back into these same trades, put in the stop loss again, all right? And then change our TP to another one. And that's how simple it is. And then from there, all you have to know is either press the buy or the sell button. Well, in this case, it tells us sell. Okay, so I would just press the sell button and then you place it. So that is my part, ladies and gentlemen. I just want to speak about really quickly how you can go ahead and get results and what's the quickest way to go ahead and get results for your people and not only for yourself. So I'm gonna go ahead and move myself out of the way um, remember the name of the game is duplication and I want to bring up my sis okay she's going to talk about more so about um, trading right what are these different things that you really need to know and kind of like what's in the academy right now I want to let you guys know that she's an amazing trader okay she has been able to you know just make sure that multiple people hundreds of people are able to just go ahead and not only, you know, get results from copying and pasting, but really get the skill set down pat. Okay. So without further ado, Kayana, if you are on the lines, go ahead and come up, sis. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Asia. Everybody drop some fire emojis in the chat for Asia. And I want you guys to drop some 777s seven, seven, in the chat for everyone who took their time today to speak from Jeff. Shout out to Zenja. I mean, I didn't even know when we created, uh, coordinated this that it was going to be her mom's birthday, but she's even taken time out to host this call throughout the whole time. Shout out to Jeff, Isis. Of course, uh, shout out to digital CEO, Ebony as well. And of course, our mentor, Chad Thompson. Guys, I'm super excited to show you. Um, what I'm gonna do is share my screen and we're gonna get into a little bit of chart talk. Now, for those of you guys who do not know me, my name is Kiana Bosworth. I'm here in Los Angeles, California. I have been trading for a couple of years. Um, 
I have been, I would say consistently for two years. I started in the crypto space and now I am, you know, more into the Forex space and trading cryptos and all that type of stuff in the foreign exchange market. Now, what I want to know is everybody right now, let me see who's, can you guys see my screen right now? Someone's uh, unmute their line. Yes. Yes. We okay. Can. Awesome. Yeah. Yes. Okay. What I would like for everyone to do right now, before I get into this chart talk is unmute your lines and make some noise. Have you guys been getting value for these past couple hours? Yes, amazing. Yes, Absolutely. Yes, yes. Absolutely. Awesome. Awesome. So what I'm going to do is get into a little chart markup. And some of the, uh, we, what me and Asia do is we host these calls with our team called Habit Made Money Trading Gap. And pretty much we go over things just like what she was going over. We go over a little bit of chart talk. And there's also other calls on our team where we do this. But most importantly, when it comes to trading is knowing how to mark up your support and resistance lines. And this is what I want to kind of show you guys, because as a new trader, this is something that's very important um, to learn how to do. So let's just say we have our MetaTrader open. You see right here, we have all of our quotes. And we also have the next button over at the bottom says chart. So when you tap on that, it'll bring up a chart. Right now, mine's is on SPX 500. Now the SPX 500 is the S&P 500. It's an indice. So we are able to trade indices. Like, um, like Asia was going over the different stuff on the app. When you click up here, you see all these commodities. We could trade exotic currencies, indices, whether it's the Dow Jones, also known as the US 30, the NASDAQ 100, the S&P 500. You also have overseas currencies on here, Germany, France, Euro. You know, you also have Australia, Germany. Um, you have futures, the dollar futures. There's, you know, stocks on here. There's so many different types of stocks. So for those of you who are into stocks, definitely, if you're going to be involved in stocks, you have to trade stocks in Forex. Because if you're trading a stock that you can trade like on this list and you're trading it outside of Forex, you should be trading it in Forex because that's one way to make more, you know, they make money more than one way off of one play, as I say. So, oops, all right, so we also have regular Forex crosses here. We have energies, there's oil, there's gas, metals, which is like your gold and platinum and silver, and of course, cryptos. So there's so much things that you can trade off of leverage without owning any of these commodities at all. So what I did was choose S&P 500. So if everyone wants to go ahead and go to the S&P 500, your chart may look different than mine, depending on your settings but that's okay. We can still do support and resistance regardless. So what we're going to do is on the top left corner, you see where it says M15. You're going to click on that and it'll drop down these time frames. These are all different time frames for these charts. Uh, and what this means is that each of these candles right here, like this is a candle, this red, this is a candle, this green, this little bitty one is a candle with the wicks, these lines on the top of them. That's a wick. These are all 15 minute candles. So if I switch to the minute, these are minute candles. If I switch to an hour, these are hour candles. And it will be similar patterns, but different because of the time frame. So if we zoom out of the minute one, as or let me turn it and zoom out. If you zoom out, as you see, it's been going down for a long time. So it, it just kind of very looks like the same movement. Whereas if we were on an hour time frame, it's been going down, but you see a lot of times where it went up and sharp downs. So this is important to know when you're trading, what type of trader are you? Are you going to be doing intraday trading, day trading, swing trading? Like what type of trade are you doing? So the most important thing when you're getting into entering trades and all that, not only is support and resistance and marking it up, but is knowing your exit and enter strategy. So think of it as being a sniper. We're going out. Snipers know their exit and uh, their entry and their exit. They don't just go and shoot without knowing an exit point or having a plan. So this is what you guys need to do. And that's all part of risk management. So let's just say you click on, let's go to the four hour chart. And what I like to do is turn it sideways so I can really see the chart wide. And what I do is I click on the right-hand side, I tap, 
and it'll have this option pop up. On the right side, you see where it has the shapes, the triangle, the circle, the square under that F? We're gonna click on that. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna add an object. So you can either go to add object or right under add object, you see like there's all these shapes. I have like a dash as my first one. If yours is not on there, just go to add object. And what we're gonna do is get the horizontal line. And now if you just drag your finger across the screen, you'll have this horizontal line popping up. Now, this is what I'm showing you guys is how to literally mark up and trade off of your phone, okay? Because I'm an on, and this is the same thing you could do with any other chart, but as far as what I'm showing you is on MetaTrader 4, so that way you guys can trade on the go if you have a busy lifestyle and things like that, so you don't have to just be stuck at a computer trading. So let's just say what we're gonna do along this chart is place this line somewhere where you see touching like where where it's touching a lot so let's just say i see right somewhere around here let me see let me actually screenshot this okay so i see right here this candle's hitting and kind of resisting up here. You guys see that? Yes, yes. Okay. Now also, I see it right here. It almost tried to touch it right there, right here. It's resisting there somehow, right? If you look over here, you see the same thing with this candle right here. I see it around here. It keeps resistant. Even if passed it, it passed it right here. It kind of did like a fake out move in a way. And we, it, and when we get into you know chart talk and everything, usually on our calls we get into it even more about what the fake out moves from the market makers are. And then when you look over here, what do you see? More resistance here. Kind of passed here, but then it went back up right? But right here in that zone, in that area, it kept showing some resistance right here as well. So we can just look back and see the story right here. What, what's happening? Every time candles are coming around this zone where this line is, it's wanting to kind of just bounce off of that. Or if it broke through, it just kind of goes back up. There's some type of resistance happening there. So what we're going to do is mark up some support and resistance lines. Now know that your lines can be a support and a resistance depending on the direction of where you're going. A support is the floor, the resistance is the ceiling. Sometimes your floor becomes your ceiling. So if you're in an apartment, you know that your ceiling might be someone else's floor. So depending on <laughs> which direction you're going in, or if you're going down, your floor is someone else's ceiling. So it's the same thing with that. So what we wanna do is keep marking up our horizontal lines where we see a lot of different resistance. And what you wanna do is you see these, uh, let me see if I can point. Over here where the numbers are, you see this like yellow circle? When you tap it, it goes away. That means it's locked in. So you wanna make sure that you're locking these in because it could be so annoying when you're marking up a chart and you're moving the chart back and all of a sudden, you're moving it back and this starts moving like that. And you're like, ah, oh. and you have to like redo it. So the best thing to do is always just lock that in. All right, so what we're gonna do is we see that it's hitting resistance in a couple of places. Do you guys see why I'm putting these, um, why I'm putting these lines where I'm putting them at? Yes. Yes. Oh. Okay, awesome. So when we're doing this, we're, we're essentially getting our uh, support and resistance lines. And this is just what we're gonna do. And you can have several of these. You can even go over to the one hour time frame and tighten them up a little bit. And as you see, they're almost perfect. On the one hour, you see right here, it was almost perfect, almost perfect touch. Like guys, I cannot make this up. And over here, it wanted to come down. It didn't quite make it over here, but we but we'll use but we still use that as a zone or a resistance. 
and we can keep going back. You see up here, how perfect is that line? Almost touching that, almost touching that, you know? And if anybody knows right here on this, I would have definitely been in for that cell and caught all them pips right there. <laughs> That's the nice second leg of that M right there for a lot of you guys who know about the ketchup mustard strategy. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead, um, go back on the four hour time frame, And what we're gonna do is look at the low of the week, the high of the week, and we're gonna mark up uh, that. We're gonna get our objects again. But this time we're gonna do a vertical line. And what we're gonna do is mark up the beginning of the week and the end of the week. So that way we know what area we're looking at. Let's see. All right, so you guys see that there's dates at the bottom and the times. Because of my chart settings and the way it's set up, and I have the day period separators and all that on the four hour time frame, each of those dotted vertical lines are representative of a week. So as you see right here, from here to here is exactly one week. So what we do is we take the week. So this is the area we're looking in between right now to see what's going on for the rest of the week. So this is, say for example, this week we're in Monday. So we're like right here or something. Sunday night, we would, by Sunday, you would be doing this type of homework or part markup. So you would be looking in this direction for the last week. So what was last week? And what we're gonna do is take our, vertical, uh, our horizontal lines again, and we're gonna mark up the high of the week and the low of the week. So you're gonna take your horizontal line in that zone what was the high of the week and the low of the week? Well, this right here looks like the high of the week. And what we're gonna do is change the color so we don't get confused with these yellow lines. All you have to do is press and hold and you go to properties. And then if you go down to where it says style, you click on that. And then you see you have all these different colors here. You could choose whatever color you want, just choose something that you're, you know that you're gonna, you know, you know what to look for or whatever. Me, what I like to do is when I do the high of the week and the low of the week, I'll use this kind of orange color. Maybe it's salmon, who knows? <laughs> but there you guys press save and done. And then you see how it changed color. And now we're just gonna tap that and lock it in. So right now I can see that my high of the week in between this week was right here. Do we all agree that I was right about that? Yeah. Does someone yeah. not agree with me? Okay. So then what we're gonna do is get the low of the week. We're gonna go ahead and tap our objects again, get the horizontal line, and we're gonna go down and get the low of the week. Now I did that as you see with that wick here, I would say it's more so right there. So now, as we see, we have, I'm gonna shot this so I can draw this off for you guys. Basically what we are looking at is going to be essentially this area, okay? Because we have the beginning of the week, we have the end of the week, right? We have the high of the week, we have the low of the week. So this right here is everything inside of that is everything that happened last week. So this will tell us what's gonna be, uh, this is usually what we go off of to project what the market is doing or the type of moves they're gonna make in the next following week. So once we have that, we have the high of the week and the low of the week, let's go ahead and look on the one hour time frame. Zoom out, look at that week. And can someone tell me what the high, what day was the high of the week? Thursday. 
Yeah, Thursday. And what day was the low of the week? Friday. Friday. Right. Right. So we have this is Monday. We have Tuesday, we have Wednesday, we have Thursday, and we have Friday. We have the high of the week up here, and we have the low of the week down here. So what is that story telling us? That the market pushed and the high of the week happened on Thursday, and there was some strong reversal that happened all the way to Friday. So we can also look at the previous week and see that Friday, Thursday, Wednesday, Tuesday, Monday. Monday was the high, the high of the week for last week. The previous week, that was the high of the week. Well, it was a little bit higher. So it retested that high of the week. Oops. It retested that high of the week last week again for the second week in a row so then you see all these moving averages and everything here that only kind of clues to us especially looking on the rsi look at that dub, look at that m the second leg of the m i would have went in for a sell right there on thursday all the way into profit you could have took profit around here as well you see it started consolidating but that's, and that's a couple of levels right there, but then it went down again, it kept going. So that would have been like an all day profit. That's a trade you could have literally stayed in all single, like all day and been in profit literally all day. And it would have just kept running up and running up and running up. Now, when we're in this week though, after we marked it up, we know that it ended at the low of the week. So what we're looking at is to see all right, well, where is our support and resistance? We have some support up here. We have some uh, uh, resistance up here. We have a support down here. And we can also make a create another one. I usually do three at a time. I would probably create one like somewhere around this 43, around 43.90 price, I would say would be like another. But we see that we're way under all of those support and resistance that I would have uh, marked up. So the next one would have been under, uh, it would have been definitely lower than this support right here. So since we already closed out below, closed out under the support and everything, Monday is going to tell us some type of story over here, right? It's retesting a lot. Like if you guys look. What is it doing with that low of the week? It's retesting it. It's not wanting to stay down. It's trying to go back up. It went back up a little bit. Respect it what? What is this? That support? It didn't break it, right? And what did it do? It just kept retesting, retesting, and it kept going down. It did not break. So because it did not break, that signified to me this still was going down as it did until you you know you can create some more support and resistance that go under when you're on the four hour time frame you just have to go back a little bit because sometimes price may not have been lower than that price for a while and you might have to go back months ago when it was or something but you'll be able to find those support and resistance lines a lot of times they'll keep they'll keep doing it in the market like i have support and resistance lines from like last year on some of my charts that the candles in the market is hitting and it's like, oh, okay, I know what moves they're doing. Like, it looks like I, I know exactly. It's retesting that same, uh, you know, support and resistance or whatever, um, you know, so I already know what's going to happen off of that line. So I keep them there on some of my other charts. But basically, you guys utilize this um, on top of using different strategies and things like that to just basic markup. So if you didn't have any added, uh, you know, indicators and everything like that, you guys can definitely at least mark up support and resistance, find the low of the week, the high of the week, what days it was to kind of get an idea of what is going to happen for the rest of the week. Um, so I hope that, I don't know my time right now because I can't see. Okay, yep, I'm a, I went probably a few minutes over, but 
I hope that you guys got some value from that. Make some noise if you guys did get value from that. Yes, yes, definitely. Yes, absolutely. absolutely. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Awesome. Yes. Awesome. So make sure that, you know, tomorrow yes. is Sunday. So for those of you that are, you know, already trading and on our team, you know, do your chart markups tomorrow. Um, post them in our chats. We have our trade chats and stuff. Part, post them in there. Um, and especially if you guys want the most mentorship that you guys can have, the best thing to do is literally when you enter a trade or marking up stuff, when you're marking up and entering a trade, post a screenshot of that in there because you know when you post your profits and stuff like that it's cool but we don't know what art looked like to try to help or try to try to see like oh well why did you mark it up there you know just to kind of see where your head is at to try to guide you you know and because a lot of people might be confused on you know the markups or anything like that so the more you guys are open with sharing that we can best guide you and mentor you on that. So I'm glad that you guys got information, uh, got a lot of value from all of this information. Shout out to all the leaders and shout out to Asia as well for you know, going over this trading stuff with me on this call. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and pass it back to Zenja to go ahead and close this thing out. And I will see you guys on the call on Tuesday. Hey, 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 I think Zendra uh, checked out. I think she checked out, you guys. I'll go ahead and close this out. Uh, first and foremost, I want to thank everyone for showing up today. It's a Saturday. You guys can be anywhere. Some of you guys are in the UK. Some of you guys are in Africa and Germany. And it's probably super late. You guys came on here to get this value. I definitely want to thank the leadership. Definitely, definitely, definitely want to thank the leadership for coming together, masterminding, having our first of many Super Saturdays for the rest of the year. You guys, this is just the start. These Super Saturdays, you're going to see it. They're going to be packed out with hundreds of people on these calls. So stay tuned for the next call. Also, you guys, me and some of the leadership have put together a call schedule for you guys. We are launching on Monday. There's going to be trading calls Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, crypto with uh, Ebony on Thursday, you guys. So we're really going to be taking our trading to the next level these next 90 days. And I'm super excited to see the testimonials that comes out of this group. Thank you all. Have a wonderful night. I will have this recorded and uploaded uh, no later than Monday, you guys. Peace and love. Thank Tiana, you. did you want to add anything? My bad. Um, I just want to say thanks guys all shout out. You're showing out for yourselves. And a lot of you guys have been seeing, um, you know, just the growth and everything that you guys have been going through with this journey. And it's just amazing to watch it. I'm super excited for each and every one of you. Just keep striving. Just keep, you know, just striving just to be great at this. Just know that this is the highest paid skill you can have. And we are really in the forefront of a lot of things when it comes to crypto and all of that. We have so much resources. Our community is super amazing. We are a true wealth squad and just want to give it back and shout out to you, Isis, you know, um, thanks for helping to put all this together and really just coming up with the idea of just doing this so that way we can provide this to everyone on our team to get some value. So everyone definitely drop some fire emojis for Isis, show her some love and yeah, and just for everyone else, we'll see you guys on our team call tomorrow. Thank you so much. Appreciate y'all. Thanks coaches. Thank you. This was so bomb, so much value, so much information. Thank you guys. Try to...